playoffs round two. We got an amazing game between Ian Jackson and Jelly Fam going head to head against Cannon Ketchum and the cohort. Fast break opportunity. Can he make this? Oh! Oh my goodness! It's a tie ball game right now. It's a must win, man. We love the pressure and that intensity of our back against the wall. Oh my goodness! If Jelly Fam loses this game, they go home. Michael Brown! High game, four minutes left. Hey, it's never over here at OTE, man. Game winning potential situation for Jelly Fam. Delay! Woohoo! Jelly Fam will be going to game three. Welcome back to the heart of Atlanta, Georgia at the OTE Arena. We got some playoff basketball coming for y'all. Game three must win situation. We got Ian Jackson and Jelly Fam going head to head against Cannon Catchings and the cohorts. And I could not be more excited to bring it to you. It's your boy Sniper Jones. And of course, I'm with my guys. Davis. What's goody? What's goody? The one and only Jeff T. What's going on, brother? Hey, listen, man, that's how we got here, right? So game one, Jelly Fam controlled the entire game, but somehow, some way, cohorts crap back in it and they won. Game two, Ian Jackson took over. Game one and layup, put the team on his back. Davis, how nice is Ian Jackson? Man, Ian Jackson in Ian Jackson form, because it's not his first time doing it. I like that. Went absolutely crazy, hit a game-winning, driving, air suspended layup, man. That was tough. And he was very special, 19 points, 6 of 13. He shot it well. But he's such a leader for this team. He, he stands up when it matters the most, man. Absolutely. Oh, man, Ian Jackson is phenomenal. UNC commit. We know he's going to do what he's supposed to do, but my guy, Elijah Moore, is the one that I'm here for. He nice. Man, he's super nice. Man. He's <laughs> been killing in both games, been doing his thing. 20-plus points uh, in both games. I'm excited to see what he does in game three. Um, he's one of those guys to be reckoned with. Hey, man, he's a tough shot maker. Tattooed a bow. He tattooed a bullseye on his elbow, so every time he hit a jumper, he showed off just like that. <laughs> he's headed to Syracuse, and he has been balling nonstop. They're going to need everything he can give him for the night. But on the other end, Michael Brown. This kid can absolutely ball. Oh, you know Michael Brown. That's my guy. My favorite player in OTE. He's going to have to have a big night tonight for them to get a win. Hey, man, he can do it, right, Davis? A hundred percent, man. That range is something serious, That man. range is crazy. When he gets started, I don't know if anyone's stopping him. Hey, look, he's one of the best point guards in the country for a reason, but he's alongside Kenny Ketchins, who can do the same thing. Kenny yeah. Ketchins from Indianapolis, Indiana. Come you know, on, man. You already know, hometown hero. Uh, I'm looking for him to have a big night. He's been playing well in both games. He has to step up for him to get a win. Man, he's been hitting some crazy shots. This crazy. Like, he, he shoots shots. I'm like, there's no reason that he should shoot this. And it dropped. <laughs> like, <laughs> let's take a look at the playoff bracket so we can see what these teams are faced up with. As you guys can see, the series is tied 1-1. Whoever wins this game will be going up against the YG Dreamers next. And as you can see, RWE already won, and they will be going up against the City Reapers. So, man, this game, it's a lot of weight on these teams tonight to win. Whoever wins, move on to the next round, man. Let's get into the starting lineup for Jelly Fam as they prepare for their game tonight. Number 11, the UNC commit, McDonald's All-American Ian Jackson. Number 23, the defender, Jordan Skyers. Number one, the sharpshooter headed to Syracuse, Elijah Chapa Moore. He's a point guard headed to Mississippi State. Number two, Delquan Warren. And last, but certainly not least, the big man holding it down, Solomon Aminu. Now let's head over to the cohorts. One of the best point guards in the country, number zero, Michael Brown. The Brazilian bullet himself, Haynan Dos Santos. He might have the highest flying vertical in the country, Trey Parker. He's headed to Purdue, Cannon, Catchings, and last but not least, the greatest guy in the building at all times, Ralph Martino. Not in the starting lineup, as you guys can see, John Bow, fellas, talk about the what they're gonna miss with him not being on the floor. Man, 100%. Not having your McDonald's All-American seven-footer center, it's going to be a tough one, man. Even when he doesn't get a block, he's affecting the, the possessions. He's making people second-guess their shots. So not having him, man, somebody's going to have to step up. Yeah, definitely the, definitely the anchor defensively. But rebounding, uh, he's one of the best rebounders in OT. Actually, the best rebounder in OT. So they're going to miss him on that end, too. Hopefully, uh, they got some guys that can step up and play, take his place a little bit, I guess you would say. They're going to need it, man. It's going to be tough. It's not easy not having your McDonald's All-American out there on the floor. They're going to need everything they can get. But right get it, now, it, we're joined by our fourth member of the broadcast for the Adidas Face-Off Overtime Day. Take it away. 
Sniper, I appreciate it. I'm here with both coaches right now. Now, Coach Pete, yes. big game two win. How do you continue that momentum? Man, we got to continue to defend and rebound. It is a tough team, well-coached team. We got to keep bringing our effort on defense on, our, on the defensive end. Coach Lato, you're missing three key guys for this game three. How do you make up for their loss? Oh, each man has to play as a man and a half. You know, so uh, man and a half times seven is ten and a half, and that's how we do it. That's cold hearts math right there. And last question, do you still hate Coach Lato? Oh, I never hated Coach Lato. I look up to Coach Lato, man. <laughs> Me too. Appreciate you guys. Good luck today. Oh, don't want to interrupt that handshake. Game three, <laughs> let's get it going. Hey, man, this is going to be a tough game. Jeff, who you taking? Ah, we got a lot of guys missing for the cohort, so I'm going to go with Jelly Fam. All right. Who you got, Davis? Man, I wish I could say it overtime, but I'm going to go ahead and say Jelly Fam. I'm going to go against the grain and take take the shortest roster right now in the league. I'm going to go with the cohorts, man. I feel like they're going to be able to muster up the talent without they having any guys, man. I think cohorts going to get this done, man. Snipe, it's all Jelly Fam today. Hey, you might be right, bro, but hey, listen. Ralph Martino on the floor, you got an opportunity hey, to win the game. Never know what's going to happen. I'm telling you, man. By the way, guys, whoever win this game, oh, oh. Come on, get to that line, young boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not getting catches, man. <laughs> whoever win this game is headed up against the City Reapers. So, I mean, Jeff, this is a lot of pressure. You played in a lot of pressurized situations. Yeah. It's win or go home for both teams. You head against the City Reapers after this. Well, you got to come out here today. You got to be relaxed. You got you did it before. You play every day. You played in a bunch of big time games. Uh, you know, it's a lot on the line, but you got to definitely be relaxed and let the game come to you. Absolutely. And Kenny Cash has got a uh, late tech in the game. Some may say it cost him the game. Uh, I wouldn't be some, but it was very late in the game, and it was it was for no reason, man. I ain't gonna lie. Man, Look at this. He doing that for no reason. That, that was insane to do in the fourth quarter when you're up one and put someone at the technical like technical free throw line. Yeah, that man. was insane. So I think he has a lot to make up for. Hey, the thing with Cannon though, bro, you gotta take the good with the bad. That's what get him going. Unfortunately, it cost the team, but it, he could also put up 30 doing that, man. So I'm gonna take the good That's with the bad. Hey, so is there anything? What past the green light on offense? Like, is there anything past the green light? That's what Cannon Catcher has. He gets it, and what, he, he's letting it fly. It's infrared, bro. Infrared. infrared. <laughs> got the infrared light right now. That tech was funny. <laughs> I'm still stuck on that tech. That's some Indianapolis right there. And then they go that man, Ian Jackson, on a pull-up. Mm, no good. I oh, see what the, a rebound by Trenton. Wow. You talked about that vertical in the nah, opening. It, it's vertical. Cra hey, Jeff, who had the craziest vertical you played with? Ah. The best. Like a teammate. I can't even think of anybody I play with. Maybe uh, Derrick Rose, maybe. Uh, uh, maybe. It, yeah, that's it. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Ain't no maybe on that. D Rose gotta have the highest version. Prom D Rose is insane. Michael Brown with the mini. We gotta see a lot of that tonight. Hey. Listen, the Colharts, as we mentioned earlier, is very undermanned. They only have about two guys on their bench right now. Man. No Samis Coderone, wow. no John Bo, no AO. Wow. This team Here it comes. is Here going it to comes. need everything go, in order go, for them to win this game. That condition, this one, that condition, oh, it kicks um, in, man. It's good defense right yeah, there. Someone who played a very high level of basketball, man. I know all about the conditioning, you know what I mean? Hey, yeah, absolutely. Three ball, Kenny catches. Oh. He can turn around. The went in. Hey, is that that time <laughs> stuff? You already know that's that time right. stuff. Hey, no. Nah, yeah. He turned around before it went in. Yeah, it's only right. <laughs> Yo. Nah, I might have to change my pick. Hey, nah, nah, stay on that side, bro. Yeah, he, got a, on that side. he got an NBA 2K green light animation. Nah, that, that is, is insane. Hey, I've never seen that done in an actual game. <laughs> At this magnitude, this win and go home, he turned it around. Ralph Martino with the steal. Hey, I want to see a Ralph Martino fast break so bad. Don't pull up on him. I need it all. They need a timeout. Hey, they need a timeout. Come on. They not afraid of the moment, Davis. Now, this Colhart team seems very motivated right now. Absolutely. These winner go home games, man, really shows who wants it. Some people really do want to go home. Look at <laughs> oh, look at my boy, Rob Martino, the specialist. Hey, Jeff, we had a conversation about some of the kicks that's being worn right now. And me and you are both a fan. As we look at this replay, look at this. Three ball. Flash. Hey, yo, Michael Brown is getting to his back early today. You know what? This might play into their advantage not having a big. Yeah. Because now, oh, it's hard for them to switch on a pick and roll because you're going to get a big on Michael or you got Cannon popping. If they all hitting like that, though, oh, yeah. hey, 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 they are in a double news. zone right now. I have some bad, bad news. What's that? 
We got a lot more basketball. Oh, my oh God. My God. I, hey, bro. That's the last thing they need. The cohorts. If he get it going, it's a different game. But, hey, Jeff, we talked about the kicks that they wear right now. Me and you both are a fan of that James Harden volume eight. Uh, yeah, definitely. One of the best kicks out right now. I'll probably say the best hoop shoe. Him or the AE1s, man. It's definitely a debate. Adidas has been dominating the basketball market as far as sneakers. Even as we look at Michael Brown at the line right now, he's wearing some... Unreleased. He's wearing some unreleased sneakers right now. These are the Harden Volume Sevens. We seen him warming up earlier today. Jeff just getting up shots, man. Get prepared for the moment. Trying to lock in and make sure you win this game three. Oh yeah, you knew he was gonna come out prepared. He was here early. First one on the court getting up shots. You can tell his focus. I went to shake his hand today. All he gave me was a head nod. I said, oh yeah, he's oh, locked yeah. in. Yeah, he's locked in. He in that mode right now, yeah, man. For sure. They definitely gonna need him. He's at the line right now. First one good, second one, that's money too. He getting off to a good start. 14 to five right now, no harsh jumping on Jelly Fam. Coach Leonard got these guys motivated, man. Nah, he yeah. does. Three ball, no good by Delquan Warren. Oh, contested shots, My look kick. up. Oh. L1. Oh, okay, Yo, he, okay. He on right. that. okay, he okay. On that. Hey, hey. Speaking to Coach Leno Davis, Coach Leto has won all of the OTE championships here at OTE, which means this is why I put my money on him. Hey, look, I know they got a short team, but Coach Leto has not let us down yet. He has two championships, and if he can get a championship, if he can move past this round with a seven-man roster against a full team, Man. he co-signs my Phil Jackson co-sign for him. Oh, no, 100%. He's the Phil Jackson OT. Oh, my goodness, Trey. I mean, I he made like it harder he, than he had. Yeah, I feel like he could take it the left hand lip. Yeah, he made it harder. Oh. All right. Hey, man, it's playoff basketball. Anything can go down. Oh, three ball. No good. Put back good by Hey, Hey, Jeff, they want it more right now. Oh, definitely. They're playing with a lot of hard, a lot of energy. Yeah. 16 to 5, Cole Hearts. I'm right, looking like they want to make it to the next round. Don't go anywhere. Bo basketball right after this. Welcome back inside OTE Arena here in Atlanta, Georgia. 16 to 5 is the score right now. Crazy action in this, in this first quarter. Cold Hearts missing three guys and still up a, uh, 11 here early. Chat, what's going on? I'm with you here. Uh, chat, also, I want to see real quick, who do you think is going to win right now? Because I saw a lot of people picking Jelly Fam before the game started. I want to see who's switching up and who's sticking with their pick now that the Cold Hearts are up 11. You know, I think there's something about uh, when you know you have a short bench and you know you have a long leash, you're not afraid to shoot because you know that if you miss, you're not getting taken out of the game. There's only two guys sitting on that Cold Hearts bench right now. So it'll be interesting to see in the second half when these dudes get a little more tired. But uh, chat, I need I need people saying right now who they think. I see uh, Drip King saying what's up. I see Backyard Sports just saying what's up. Chat, I need I need you to tell me who you think is going to win here, though. Why is Jelly Fan playing passive? They're usually not like this. That's a good question. We've seen kind of a balanced scoring, but it's only been five points. It's early. I'm sticking with my Jelly Fan pick. It looks like a lot of people kind of switching up early. Let's go Cold Hearts, Dockery Jr. said. Cold is gold. Yeah, it's pouring in right now. Cold Hearts all day easy. Six Stacks says I'm sticking with Jelly Fam. T. Kurt says Cold Hearts. I see how active the chat is. I appreciate you guys. More first quarter action coming up in just a few seconds. But you see, before the game, Jelly Fam had a lot more energy than Cold Hearts. Now, it's looking pretty even out there. I'm excited for the rest of this first quarter. Snipe, I think we're throwing it back to you here coming up in this first quarter, but are you sticking with your pick of Cold Hearts? All right, we are ready to come back here for first quarter action. Appreciate you guys. See you for, at the end of the first quarter. Yo, you know what it is. 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 Yo, listen. Bank 
can't stop what's destined. Yeah. We here to Sunday. We gonna take what's ours. Come on, man. Can we decide what we're gonna do? Everybody got me. Everybody got me. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Eight. One time for the people. Oh, yeah. Ah. Hey, man, that was Coach Pete after a game-winning performance by Ian Jackson in the locker room. They hyped up, and it seemed like they was really excited for this game three. So if you watch it, the game is not over. They got a lot of fight left. Oh, they got to pick that energy up that they had in the locker room. They got to bring it out here, because right now the cohorts is the one playing with all the energy. Man, it's funny, because we were talking about, oh, my God. Oh, there you go. Oh! Yeah. Kenny is here today. Hey, bro. Hey, it's funny, we were talking about before the game, who who had more energy, like, in the pregame battle. Yeah, yeah. The Cole Hearts were very calm and collected, very <laughs> relaxed. And Jellyfin was like, group huddle. Hey, David, this is an early, this is an early uh, option for uh, Cash App Lockdown right there, brother. 100%, man. And, and let me be clear, I'm not changing my pick. I'm joking. I know Ian Jackson about to ball out. Now you want to say that he's going to score a table. Nah, that's down by the cool. Look, that, look, now he's going to ball out now, watch. That's up. George got it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, this Jelly Fam team. Oh, good take. Oh. It looked like he missed a step a little bit. Great defense. Hey, our own overtime day made a great point. Hey, Jeff, if I'm playing for the cohorts, I don't know what a bad shot is. You can't tell me. Yeah. I'm pulling everything. All right. Everything. I am pulling everything right now. Uh-oh. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. That's a good foul. Man, this small ball lineup is very unique. I like it, man. This is uh very unique as well because they move it in the fast break. They get a lot of Yo. open opportunities. Yo, listen, 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 listen. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. And right now, the overtime day has John Bowl on the Bob Cam. They take it away. Appreciate it, Sniper. I'm with John Bowl right now. John, how hard is it to sit here and watch your team play without you out there? Um, it's hard, you know, trying to play, but you can't play. Trying to help your team, but you can't help your team. But. The only way I can do that right now is by cheering him on and, you know, encouraging him, telling him what to do. So, yeah, it's hard, but, you know, it happens. It's basketball. Ten-point lead. What do you like from your squad so far in the first quarter? Um, the aggression, the defensive end, too. Like, you know, I like how we're rebounding right now, passing the ball, sharing it, one more and stuff. Like, we're doing really, really good right now. A little bit of FOMO, but it's a good lead. Yeah, yeah, we're doing good. We just got to keep this up. I appreciate it, John. Snipe, back to you. Hey, man, I appreciate it, brother. John Bowe will be missed by this cohorts team. But right now, they're doing a pretty good job by protecting the paint through the candy catches. Got like eight blocks already, bro. <laughs> oh, look, you see you trying to gather for that one, too. Oh, oh, look at the hustle. The smallest guard on the court with the rebound. Three ball. No good. Another rebound. Hey, bro. Yo, Trey Parker falling, man. Hey, Jeff. Talk about Trey Parker and his aggression today. His energy is, is phenomenal right now. He's playing with a lot of energy. Look at him picking up on defense. You can tell he's here. He's been here before. This is not his first rodeo. He knows what it takes. And you can see that in full nice. display. Ian Jackson. Ian might be the best finisher in OG. Oh, yeah. He gets to that room. Without a doubt. Oh, oh, oh. A little lazy. Del Quad on the break. Oh, first. Oh, he didn't have to do that. Nah, he didn't have to, but I like it. Oh, he get lifted. Oh. Hey, man. I didn't know he had that. Hey, he got it. Hey, he, he also, in my opinion, the best passer here. I, I'm guaranteeing. A deal quite worn down, bro, before the end of the game. You're going to see one that's crazy. That's a good, oh, that's good defense. Mm -hmm. An amazing guy, Ralph Martino for three. Hey, it's coming in, Ralph Martino, this is also not his first rodeo. He's been here OTE before. I'm, he's always in the gym getting up extra shots, Jeff. And more importantly, he's one of the best guys you can ever sit down and have a conversation with. And his role is getting bigger and bigger the deeper they get to the playoffs. And now he's finally balling. Now he's getting his opportunity, he's making the most hey, of it. Good job uh, on the you've been preaching that he's the coolest dude here. So <laughs> it was cool to get a chance to meet him, man. Cohorts can't get in foul trouble, though. Man, Ralph, oh, yeah. my basketball family, man. His sister other, plays other, college other, basketball other. right now as well. So it's in his genes, man. That's just how they do. Kind of like you, bro. You and your brother both play some big-time hey, basketball. Ready, yeah, we got a little, ready, little history in our family when it comes to basketball. I seen a crazy clip of you crossing your brother in the NBA game, but that's out of pocket. Hey, man, don't do that, man. Don't do that. Now, shout out to your brother, though, bro. <laughs> yeah, you can't cross markets like that, bro.
Oh, 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 good rebound. That's where they miss John Ball right there. Yep. Yeah. Right. That's tough. Legally. <laughs> the rebound, the put back and one through the foul. Solomon Aminu, one of the best rebounders here at OTE. He actually set an OTE record for 23 rebounds versus the Colharts January 5th. And he's also tied a rebound for the game at 9.9 with a total of 25 total blocks, averaging 1.5 blocks per game, which is eighth in OTE. So it's safe to say, you're going to need a big for him. Almost got another block. Hey, can't can't catch it. hey man, there's going to be a sun in the sky. Can't catch is going to get it to back. And then the lob coming? Oh, oh, he little. He could have hit Jelly Fan can not hit a three to save their life. Yeah, man. Oh, this might be special. They got numbers. Oh, oh that's not a pop. Yeah. <laughs> the that infrared light was wild. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, oh, oh, Jeremiah from Winter with the steal and the light denied. Trey Parker. Oh, Lord. Reset. Hey. Oh, I'm about to say. <laughs> 23 to 13. Cohart's with a 10 point lead. Just Kenny flashing. catches. <laughs> Turnaround, man. Insane. Look at that, bro. Thank you, Sniper. Thank you, Davis. Thank you, Jeff Teague. Alex Day here inside OTE Arena. Crazy first quarter. I think a lot of people, and we were talking about this at the four-minute mark, a lot of people had Jelly Fam coming out swinging here in game three, especially with how they wrapped up game two. All we've seen here in the first quarter, though, is Cold Hearts. Ten-point lead. They're getting contributions all over the place. Michael Brown with seven points. Trey Parker playing with a lot of confidence. But, chat, I want to know, how does Jelly Fam get back in this game? Who are one or two guys that you're looking at that need to be a lot more aggressive to get back in this game? Of course, a lot of people I know are going to say Ian, but there are a couple other guys who have been big factors in the series that haven't done much so far in the first quarter. One guy I'm looking at is Aminu, especially with John Bull out. I see Aminu really dominating the glass. We saw it at the end of that first quarter. But, chat, I want to know who you think needs to step up for Jelly Pam. On the cold hard side, though, Trey Parker playing with a crazy amount of confidence and aggression right now. If he plays like that all the time, this cold hard team is different. Let me see what's going on here in the chat, though. Logan to shifty said, OTE is better than the NBA. Not going to lie. Love to see that. Uh, is AO hurt? Yes, AO is hurt. He's not playing today. Uh, Durrell said they can't. Cold Hearts are going to win it. Uh, a lot of people saying Ian Jackson needs to be the one stepping up for Jelly Fam. But if you watch the Jelly Fam team this whole season, you know it's a lot more than a one-man show. It's not just the Ian Jackson show. They are a deep team, and they have guys who can contribute in many different ways. Of course, Ian Jackson is going to be a common answer, though. Uh, Lurden Studio says we want Nelson. Uh, we see a lot of Choppa Moore here. We want Nelson. Look, I, I can't always get you Nelson, but what I can get you is Sniper Jones. This week in OTE, RWE got the win. And we're back, man. Hey, RWE defeated the Blue Checks 83 to 75, which advanced them to the next round ahead against the YNG Dreamers. And that's how we got here, man. Now, hey, RWE just waiting on Jelly Fam or Cole Harsh, bro. They at the crib, feet up. Chilling. Big chill. Oh, good move. And speaking of like, hey, whoever win this game is going up against the City Reapers. But Jeff, I was telling some of my homies, sometimes having all that time off is not the best. Nah, yeah, when you get to play against a team that's already got a rhythm, you might lose your rhythm when you're sitting at home. Hey, man, so. they've been at home for about a month and a half. Meanwhile, these boys in the trenches pooping <laughs> every day. It might get hot, might find some new confidence, and y'all ain't playing a little bit. That's why, I, and, and the Dreamers and the Reapers, more so the Dreamers, so these guys got to be ready to play Reapers, but the Dreamers to me are a team that, 
like they're great shooters. So I wonder if that off time is gonna hurt you. It could, man. At the line right now, we got Delquan Warren, originally from Erie, PA. A top 20 point guard in the country. One of the best defenders in OT as well. Recently signed to Mississippi State. Mississippi State head coach Chris Jans recruited him because he's a high energy kid. Coach Jans loves the fact that Del Quan is the pass first guy who can score the ball. And I agree, man. He's definitely one of the best passers in OTE, but at any time, he can go off for a bunch of buckets. Yeah, Cam told us that he gave RWE 40, 40. in the summer. <laughs> so, 40. Man, we, we don't even see that side of him that much at OTE. Yeah. No fouls, Craig. That was a little late. Yeah. Yo, I don't. Yo, yo, yo. You hear yo. Coach Pete mic'd up right now? Come here, come here. Tell him, you told him? You told him, Dell? Michael Brown at the line right now. And this is something you'll like about Michael too, though, man. Like, T, Michael's an old soul, bro. Before games, he listen to Jay-Z. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Watch a lot of college basketball. He said he don't even watch a lot of NBA basketball. He's more of a college fan. Yeah, yeah, he was talking to me about that, man. He said he's trying to focus on the level that he think he's going to next. But uh, listening to Jay-Z, you knew he was going to be special. <laughs> 100%. On, <laughs> hey, me and Jeff had this conversation before, but now we got to do it on broadcast. Top Jay-Z album all time. You know I'm going Black Album, It's bro. Black Album. Next question. Come on, Dave. Look, Dave you with me. Blue, blue, blue blueprint. Coming in a close second. Blueprint is one. Yeah. Black Album is two. They're not going to like my answer, so I'm not. I'm what you got, no. Burger Jay-Z? don't listen to Jay-Z? He doesn't listen to Jay-Z. I know what Dave is about man. to say. Okay, the answer is Watch the throne. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, yeah, it's a okay. Kanye fan, man. Side yeah. out, brother. Just let you know. Side out, hey, brother. Side hey, out. Black Album was the soundtrack to my life for a long time, brother. Respect. What was that Blueprint 3 that uh, had uh, Stars Born? Yep. That put me on J. Cole right there. Yep. After that, I was, I was all on J. Cole after that. I went to school in Carolina, so uh, we already listened to Friday Night Lights and all that good oh, stuff man. by then. The warm up, the come up. Yep, for sure. Hey, quick story. Jeff T, Chris Paul, y'all make my dream, my dream school, Wake Forest. Yeah. Uh, wasn't good enough to go there, but hey, it was on the list. It was on, <laughs> it was there? on the list. I ain't never get a call, but I called y'all. <laughs> Play good. Oh, oh. My goodness. He smoked the leg. Oh. Oh. Respect smokes. You gotta make you gotta up for it. Rebo! Hey, I no Jelly good. Fam. Jelly Fam is getting good looks, and they, I mean, they just can't hit. Hey, so. man. They gotta take advantage of these shots. They get the open looks, David should right. And don't look now, but Marcus is He's going left. 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 Oh, hey, those XPP, there are two cold hearts down there in the paint. It's a lid on the rim. Look at the hustle right there from A9. Dos Santos. <laughs> You're in coach, man. Hey, this is what you want to see. If the game is on the line, this is game three. Lose or go home. You have to get on the ground for loose balls. Everything matters, Jeff. Yeah, everything matters. You got to play like you got nothing to play for. I mean, nothing to live for. Like, you got to, like, go all out. Win or go home, man. Tomorrow's not promised. To Absolutely. Tomorrow. Time out by the cohorts. Let's take a look at how they got here in the playoffs. We waiting for it to happen. We're carrying a big chip on our shoulder. When we lock in, it's just, it's just a defensive maniac team. We play really, really hard. Um, we don't give anything away. All I know is my team is going to take whatever it takes to win, and we're going to do exactly that. 8 9 on the break. Oh, in the gym! We want the smoke. We're here. Hey, man, the Cole Hearts have been one of the best teams here for a while. It just actually got Coach Leto replaced Tim Sandy as head coach January 17th, and he started off 4-0. They lost the last two games in Indianapolis, but the team leads OTE in blocks per game at 4.7, and their second in rebounds at 43.1. Unfortunately, without John Bowles, it's going to take a hit, but, I mean, they started the season 5-1. This is a really good Cole Hearts team. Nah, that's a special group. Um, they're starting to click a little bit, but without John Bodo, it's going to be a little hey. tough. Hey. I'd make the argument that they're the deepest team in OT. Now, they got a deep team. And now, on overtime day, hey, he got some people over on the other side of City Reapers who playing the winner of this game. Dave, what they talking about over there, bro? 
Hey, Sniper, I'm, <laughs> I'm with Amari Evans of the City Reapers. Amari, first of all, your boy just took your seat when you stood up to do this interview. What, what's the punishment <laughs> going to be when you go back there? He won't get punished, believe that. <laughs> That's crazy. That's there's, there's a price to pay. There's always a price to pay. Always. Uh, now, are we doing scouting right now during this game? What are we seeing? Uh, I see two teams trying to win just to make it lose versus us. If you guys have to play Jelly Fam, how are you guys attacking them based on what you're watching right now in game three? Uh, they can stay true to us, do what we do. They gonna get out of control, so we just gotta stay calm all the time. <laughs> they always get out. They're from New York, though. You gotta take it easy on them. Uh, and if the Cold Hearts win, how are you attacking them? Same way we've been doing. Punish them inside. So what, what's the score of the series gonna be, depending on who you play? 2-0, no matter who we play. Clean sweep. Clean sweep. Now, is there one player on either of these teams that you really want to face off against because, you know, you want to play up against the best? Cannon catching. No doubt? No doubt, Cannon. What impresses you about him the most? He don't dribble the ball at all, and he get buckets. He's, the, he's <laughs> the, Clay, the Clay Thompson score. Yeah, pretty much. And uh, what are you going to listen to before game one? Young boy. Favorite young boy song? Uh, Cemetery Lifestyle. Wow, you took way too long on that. Sniper, back to you. Now I see why Amari Evans is my leading pick for Defensive Player of the Year. Oh, yeah. Listen to NBA Youngboy before the game. Hey, there's nobody else to listen to if you want to lock up somebody in NBA. Don't he hoop in Black Forces? Hey, bro, you might as well. <laughs> hey, man. It's a lot of picks this year. A lot of candidates, man. MVP right now. Who your MVP right now? Mine? Yeah. You already know. I don't got to say it. Oh, I, I need right. to know, bro. Oh, Eli, man. Yeah, yeah. Eli, man. David, who is Eli's going to win the first ever unanimous. I think the only debatable conversations is yeah. Defensive Player of the Year oh. and, and uh, the Up Next Award. So, like, I got Amari Evans for Defensive Player of the Year. Who you got, David? Too. You got him, too? I got Amari, bro. Oh, hey, hey, okay, okay. But who you got for the Up Next Award? Because I think it's between A.O. Oh, my. Oh, man. I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> Jaden Wilkins for me, I feel like whoever get it, they yeah. definitely deserve it. I, I said that, and Isaac, Isaac Ellis DM me and said, yo, you're wild. Mm. So we got we to gotta include Isaac in that conversation. Yeah, yeah, you're right. First half action is coming to a close, but we got the OTE Halftime Show coming up soon. We'll give you first half highlights and a feature on Michael Brown and a lot more, so make sure you stick with us, man. You ain't got to go nowhere. Stay locked in. Davis, you're absolutely right. Isaac Ellis is able to be in that conversation, and he is in that conversation. You're not going to like what I have to say, but I actually think if there's an order, it's actually a toss-up between Isaac and Jaden, and then I have A.O. as third. I'm not even going to, hey, look, bro, um, I'm not going to argue that. Jaden has been playing amazing. He's, he's been doing a great job. I don't think that's crazy. I don't agree, but I don't think that's crazy. Yeah, I, I think Isaac, crazy, Isaac might add more to his team currently. Good pass. Oh, oh, my goodness. Pass. What a pass. What a pass. Y'all told me he was a freshman, and I still don't believe it. Hey, man, that's a big boy. Man. Delquan Warren over to Elijah Moore. Hey, do you see the vertical on Trey, how he contested that three ball? He almost blocked it. Yeah, they cannot hit a three and save their life. Though. It's all good, though. Think of scoring side like that. Hey, Ian Jackson with a bucket. He got to get going, man. Only two points right now. Chopper got to get going. Yeah, yeah, he got to get going. Hey, the, the team needs to get going. Yeah, for sure. Good pass. Oh, oh, man. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, come on. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Teague over here being the interim ref. <laughs> hey, man. This Jelly Fam team has fought so hard to get here. They could have been up 2-0, Davis, because they had the first game won, and the cohorts just went on, like, a 99-6 run in the fourth quarter. Two very, uh, very evil. Evenly matched team. 100%. Right oh. Okay. okay. Baby. He's good, he's good, hey, man. Marcis Ponder is back, and he's playing better than ever. They needed him. They definitely going to need him tonight with no John Bowles. So, oh, I, my oh God. that's crazy. Oh, my goodness. Hey, my God. Hey, wow. this game is getting good. Don't go nowhere. Hey, delay by Ian Jackson is sending us a break. They not out of this game. Stay close. Don't go nowhere. Welcome back inside OTE Arena here in the heart of Atlanta, Georgia. Great game so far here. Eight-point game in the first half. Now, we talked about it between the first and second quarter. A lot of people had Jelly Fam. 
Cold Hearts came out swinging despite only having seven people on their bench. Two people on their bench, five people in the lineup, of course, but still an eight-point game. Now, we talked about it between the first and second quarter. Who's got to step up for Jelly Fam? I saw a lot of people in the chat saying Ian Jackson. I saw a lot of people saying Shada. They combined have seven points so far in the first half. They're going to need more than that. But, chat, I want to know, Who's impressed you the most on the Cold Hearts? Because right now, Michael Brown with nine points, he's been going off. They're getting contributions all over. So, chat, I want to know who's impressed you most on Cold Hearts. I'm checking the chat right now. Uh, I see Anna Baroa saying Jelly Fam going to come back. Three-point shot for the game. That, hey, that doesn't sound too far off. Uh, I see D. Rodriguez saying, yo, how are we doing here in the chat? Uh, J. Ball saying, been riding with Jelly Fam this whole way. Got to stick with them now. Uh, Drip King says, can I have a shout out? It's my birthday. Happy birthday, Drip King. Let us know, hey Drip King, let us know how old you're turning. Uh, T Kurt, uh, excuse me, Showtime NC says, thank you for shouting me out. Um, D Rodriguez wants to know who's my favorite cold heart. I have to go with Michael Brown. We heard Sniper, Jeff, and Davis talking about Jay-Z. I'm from New York, I'm a big Jay-Z fan. So if Jay-Z is your favorite artist, then you're my favorite player too. Uh, who else do we have here in the chat? Uh, a lot of people saying Trey Parker has impressed them most on the Cold Hearts. I've loved the way he's played in the first half, and I think this first half is a perfect example of how Trey Parker has evolved as a player, much more than a high flyer. We've seen him do it in a variety of ways in this first half on both ends of the floor. He's been great, and you know who else has been great? It's been our booth with Sniper Davis and Jeff Teague. Back to you guys. Any opponent should be afraid or scared to play us in the playoffs because we won't stop. Oh, big slam! As long as we out there scrappy, getting on the floor. George called! Trying to stop guys, rebound the basketball. We're playing Jelly Fan basketball. Hey, Jackson! One, two, three, Jelly! Jelly. Jelly Fam has been playing amazing basketball, and they're going to need everything it takes to win tonight is win and go home for both of these teams to move on to the next round to play the City Reapers. Right now at the line, we got Ian Jackson. He's a 2024 McDonald's All-American that recently signed to UNC. And right now, as we speak, he's second in OTS scoring in 23.9 a game. Davis, between me and you, if Eli Whitney going on a 50-piece scoring spree, <laughs> Ian has a case of being MVP. Oh, easily, 100%. And I think he would be because he, he's oh. been – Ralph my – Hey, he called, oh, bro. He and, called. And, and you know he what called. makes me happy, man? His number was called in his playoffs, in this series specifically, and he stepped up. He rose to the occasion, man. We were just talking about Ralph Tino's such a good player, and he hasn't really – Gotten a ton of minutes. He hasn't been like deep in the rotation. Yeah. And he got his moment. And man, he's shining. Jeff, let me ask you a question. You played at the highest level of basketball and everywhere in between. How many guys on rosters you knew had the talent but didn't get the. Oh! Trey Parker. He how, said he had the I highest level. You that one tonight. Hey, how many guys do you know that had the talent but didn't get the opportunity? And when they got it, they seized the moment. Man, that's everybody in the NBA. Everybody is a really good player. And it's just, it's about, it's like, when the opportunity comes, it's taking, making the most of it. And uh, like you said, if you play well when it's your time, you get a chance to keep playing. So Absolutely. Hopefully, if he keeps playing well. Oh, oh Jackets. I can't by, talk the action going so I fast, know, right? so I can't get my sins up. The mini good by Del Quan Warren. I think that might jumpstart the Jelly Fan right there. Hey, it might, man. I got a chance to talk to Del Quan Warren when me and Jeff walked into the gym. I asked Del Quan what allowed him to pick Mississippi State. And he said, yo, man, it's about the plan that they had for me. I felt like they had the best plan for me to make it to the next level where I wanted to be, which was the Oh, my God. Yo. Super green light. <laughs> hey, man. You're right. I, I can't talk about anybody right now. The game going too fast. Jamie. <laughs> and it's hilarious because they were just saying, yo, he doesn't actually dribble much. Yeah. Yo, yeah. 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 right back. As I was saying, hey, he said Mississippi State got the best plan for me. I'll be able to play at the next level, I believe. And he said he's looking forward to play right yes. away yes. because all of the players in his position are going graduating or they're not going to be there next year, Jeff. So he's going to be able to come in and contribute right away. There we go. Let's talk about opportunity. He sees the opportunity to have a chance. Oh, they're not even defense. playing him right now. Oh, my God. The game is going back. Up. Hey, Del Quan. We're watching some elite hoops, man. Boy, is hooping right now. The guard from Erie, Pennsylvania, is now 
going crazy, stepping up, and they need it bad. Elijah Chopper Moore, Ian Jackson, make room for Delquan Warren. 100 percent man. Hey. Hey, this playoffs has been showing quick, what he can do. Yo, quick three for five for Cap. Listen to me. Everybody listen. Yo, we in 12. You up. Chopper, get all the way back. Oh, they didn't have listen, a time. It's our energy. I got me. Deep go three. One, two, three. Let's go, boys. Hey man, in the words of chance the rapper, he in his bag like the fries at the bottom. My boy is going crazy right now. One of the best bars Chance ever said, too, by the way. Man, that was Stuart Scott. Hey, man, technical foul on yeah, the cohorts. They, they, they pulled a Chris Webber, bro. They, pulled, they caught a timeout they have, bro. All right. I was just saying, Chris Webber did it most famously. Shout out to all my, my Michigan fans out there. I hate to do it to you, but it got to be done. Man, what a game this has been. Both teams now fully on So you got a technical foul on White? For the timeout? Now, it's the energy I thought I would see at the beginning of the game. Absolutely. I feel like a little first game jitters happen. Yeah, yeah. But both teams are realizing if we don't win today, Jeff, ain't no tomorrow. Here so, like, go. why not just leave it all here? Yep. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Shot good by Elijah Moore. See, that one free throw right there could change the game for him. They can get you going, seeing the ball go through the hoop like that. An easy free throw. Been hey. killing the last two games. Wow. Eat all, up. That's all it takes, man. Especially for a shooter. You see that ball go in one time and now your confidence rolling. This trap. Uh oh. Gotta be uh -oh. aggressive. Oh wow. my goodness. The tough finish by Haynon Dos Santos. Hey, man, he came over from Brazil to play some basketball here, but he played like a pro already. Oh, oh dude. Wow. What I tell you? He started. He started. started. He started. He started. He started. He started. He started. And he talking to Cannon, too. Uh -oh. I don't know if you oh, want to do yeah, that. Cannon, <laughs> Elijah Moore. Hey, Gap hey, off is insane. If nothing more I would like to see than a battle on the bench between Cannon and Elijah. Yeah, yeah hey, Ralph Martino, I man. I know, I'm going to say wide open. Hey, man. And if, hey, hey, not, if they not give him some room. Oh, yeah. hey, hey, look, I feel like everybody's confident right now. I swear. <laughs> Nobody is lacking confidence right now, and I love it. So, guys, just to furthermore <laughs> let you know what happens right now, whoever wins this game will advance to the next round of the playoffs and go head-to-head -head against the City Reapers, who are the number two seed here at OTE. So it's... Oh, my goodness. Hey, you expecting nerves? You see a lot of confidence, Jeff. He been here before. You said it. Yeah. It's not his first rodeo, so he, he real comfortable out there. Hey, man, Trey Parker... The brother of viral sensation dunker Quay Parker. I remember watching those Quay Parker mixtapes. Like, is this even possible? How they both got bounced? Bro. I, that's that's I exactly don't know, what I was bro. thinking too. I went and rewatched those yesterday bro. just to see what was going on. Quay used to jump so crazy, and he was around my age too. So when I used to see that, I was impressed, bro. You know, I actually used to wear those. Jeff, you remember those shoes? The that had you, I, I wore them, bro. Mess my knees up. My knees cooked. <laughs> Insane. I, wore them. I used to wear them to class and everything. Still got no power. Wearing jump so is class is crazy. It was nasty, bro. I used to wear with Levi jeans, bro, and oh, I had to make it work. Super nasty. Hey, man. Oh, wow. Hey, trust the process. <laughs> Mid range, no good. Try to uh -oh. get on the rebound. Gotta look up, killer. Gotta look up. No, he don't. He can tell. Oh, my goodness. Are they going? Are they going? I think it counts. Does it count? count? I don't know. Hey, Trey Parker is in his bag right now. I don't know if it counts or not. Let's take a look at the replay. In my opinion, it should have. What do y'all think? Um, no, they're taking it out on the side. I guess okay. it don't count. Okay. Maybe okay. the call was called before. Yeah, he fouled him early. Good foul there in that case. Michael by the pool. He's looking at the clock. Oh, right. Martino. The jab step. The jab step. The jab step. Ralph the Martino. No good. <laughs> he got his own board. Oh, wow. And he gets to the line. He's tough. Hey, bro. Hey, every, everybody has confidence. Everyone's hooping, man. I love what I'm seeing right now. If Ralph would have hit the triple jab step, one dribble step back. <laughs> hey, bro, that would have been playing. <laughs> triple, triple jab step got it. Hey, I ain't going to hold you. If he was on Martino 2K, I would have been mad. <laughs> hey, man, Ralph Martino is at the line shooting two. Hey, man, he coming through with the swag. AJ, what you feel about the long sleeve on one arm, no sleeve on the other arm? That's the Luca, ain't it? Come on. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. The devil socks and the, and the long the long leg sleeves. Hey, man. He my, got good VC. Good yeah, VC. he got a lot of VC. <laughs> my boy got the devil OTE socks going on. Look like he tried to customize it 
the hard and volume ace too. I ain't mad at him, man. Hey, look good, play good, and my boy balling right now, man. So do what you gotta do. Man. Hey, listen. This game is everything has been cracked up to be a high scoring first Don't half. Jill Quan Warren didn't know how much time he had on the clock. Wow, what happened by the cards? Oh man. my goodness, man. Now this is what we came to see right here. This is some good OTE basketball. 47 to 38. Cole Harsh with the lead. And man, have they been balling right now. We got we got Michael Brown right now, player to have. Michael, your team is coming out undermanned, but playing with a lot of confidence. What's the word in the locker room? I mean, it's when to go home. That's really it. It's when to go home. We got to go one and know today and move on to the next round. Get ready for the next opponent. We just got to go one and know today. And we came out and have heart the first half. We got to have heart the second half. Now, Michael, you're one of the best point guards in the country. You're going head to head against another great guard headed to UNC. What have you guys have been planning to slow down Ian Jackson? I mean, it's a it's a team effort. It's a team effort. We ain't trying to stop one individual. We're trying to stop the whole team from scoring. Um, just come out, play team defense, and we'll be straight. I'm going to let you get back with the team, man. It's a big game ahead. Guys, don't go anywhere. 47 to 38. Can a Colharts win this game shorthandedly? Welcome back to the State Farm Halftime Chat. What's going on? That was an entertaining first half. Nine-point lead so far for the Cold Hearts. We saw the Cold Hearts get up big early. Jelly Fam claw back, but still hovering around that nine-point, ten-point deficit. Entertaining first half. Uh, chat, I want, I want to hear right now, what part of that first half did you enjoy the most? Now, there was a, I saw a lot of people talking about how good the Cold Hearts are playing, but also wanting to see more aggression from Jelly Fam. So, chat, let me know who you think. I also saw some people saying that this has been better than the NBA. I have to agree with you right now because that first half was a lot more entertaining than any regular season NBA game I've watched so far this year. Uh, Samson Fold, he wants a shout-out. I see a lot of people wanting shout-outs. I can't get to them all, but uh, I appreciate so many people in the chat. Uh, isn't Eli on YNG? Eli is on YNG. We're going to get to the first half highlights in just a moment, but keep dropping those comments in the chat about what you enjoyed most in that first half. I see some birthdays, some people enjoying watching, uh, well, not just enjoying watching both these teams, but wanting to see Jelly Fam play City Reapers. We talked to, uh, we talked to Amari Evans earlier. He said he wants to specifically face Cannon Catchings, which I'm here for that matchup. But also, I wouldn't mind seeing Amari face off against, I don't know, someone like Ian Jackson, too. For the, the main guy for, the, for Jelly Fam in that first half was Delquan Warren, though. 16 points. We're going to get to him in just a second. We have Davis swinging by in just a moment. We'll get to all the highlights. But, uh, chat, I want you to drop more comments in there about what you wanted to see more in the second half. We'll come back to you in just a moment, though. State Farm Halftime coming up. Welcome back to the Overtime Elite State Farm Halftime. I'm joined by Davis. How are you doing, Davis? Amazing. Absolutely excellent. That was a crazy first half. That was one of my favorite halves of OTE basketball I've seen, man. Like, all teams hooping, all the players feeling very confident. They know it's when to go home. We were talking in the intros about how the cold hearts are shorthanded. That didn't look to matter for them. Let's check out the highlights from the first half. Davis, off the rip, cold heart shooting the three ball lights out. Man, and it was just great to see because when this team hits shots, they're not going to lose. But everyone on the team playing with confidence. Trey knocking out threes. Cannon catches knocking out threes. Ralph Martino. Hey, getting some extra Monster minutes. Hat. Balling, man. You know, I, I mentioned it during between the first and second quarter. Actually, we'll get to that in a second. Jelly Fam's comeback right here. Delquan Warren, he was doing it all for Jelly Fam in the first half while some of their other guys were finding their footing. Man, this Jelly Fam team has a lot of options they can go to. Elijah Moore, Ian Jackson, of course. But Delquan Warren, man, not only with his passing ability, but his ability to score as well when needed. Hey, it slept on. Now, Michael Brown was one of the guys who really impressed. Uh, he has a team high for the Cold Hearts in that first half. For a little bit more on Michael, though, we got something about him and his family back home. Michael, 
That man is tough. Man, he cannot miss. Mikael cannot miss tonight. Basketball can take me to a lot of pathways down the road. It's just truly a blessing. It's, it gave me a lot. The high score is 50. Oh, big. Cannon. Big three for Mike. Whoa! Some sacrifices I had to make was, you know, being away from my family. You know, they're back in Orlando, Florida. I really cherish that, you know, every time they come around me. My family keeps me accountable, always. What's this thing saying you was, you was absent for personal branding? I'm here right now. You said that this athlete was tardy from personal branding. No, I was in the bathroom. I told y'all I had to push it back because I was on the court working out after practice. Stop playing with me, bro. Yes, that's fine. Over time, it's been, been like a family to me. You know, the coaches have really helped me a lot here, and I really appreciate them. <laughs> What's up, Dr. Brown? Great shot to you. Great shot to you. Just get off the plan? Literally. Yeah? All right, all right. Good, get you we'll, we'll get We'll talk afterwards. Yeah. My role within my team is just to be a leader, to bring it, all the guys together, play the right way. I couldn't do nothing. What you want me to do? I don't know who him. Yes, because if you would have kicked it, if you would if you would have kicked it, I would have had to start. The advice I would give to my siblings or anybody else that would want to get to the next level is just to stay working. Low. Ugh. Not go. Ah. Go, go, go. Wait, wait. Short. Ah. Yeah. Stay consistent with your work ethic. There you go. Strive to hit that next level. That's Michael Brown with 9-3-2 and two so far in the first half. Chat, I want to know, what impresses you most about Michael's game? And then what's one thing that you want to see him do to take it to the next level? And even though I just asked Chat, I want to ask you the same question. What impresses you most about Michael's game? Man, his ability to shoot from range is insane. He has a great handle on the ball. He's a great, true, pure point guard, in my opinion. He seems like a fun guy that you'd want to play against, play, play with. A hundred percent, one hundred percent. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna play against that, you know. <laughs> like, no, he like he's a floor general, but he can also put the ball on the floor and get his bucket in any which way. Now we got to tap into the Jelly Fam locker room because you know, down nine, Coach Pete has a couple things to say. Listen, greatness is upon us. I told y'all that we are great beyond measure. Now you got to make the decision to go get it. Right, nobody gonna give it to us. You understand? It's right there for us. But the thing that we gotta do to get there is the little things. The details, the discipline, the boxing out, the rebounding, the diving on the floor, the taking charges, the nasty stuff. That ain't sexy. We do that, we fine. But that's what we gotta do. It ain't the all. You heard Coach P in the locker room. That's all we have for the State Farm halftime today. Real quick before we dip out, dip out of here, chat, I need to know who you think's coming out ahead in the second half. Davis, who do you think? Hey, man, I started with Jelly Fam. I'm going to end with Jelly Fam. We're fan, riding man. with Jelly Fam. We're, ride We're riding man. with Jelly Fam. Second half action coming back in just a second. Don't go anywhere. Sniper Davis, Jeff T, coming back for second half action. Girls, let's go, let's go. Come on, ladies. Tallulah, come on, the bus is about to leave. Come on, we gotta go. Women's basketball is really taking off, and overtime is a huge part of that. They always approach us with positive vibes. Overtime select. It's kind of like a gateway. Women get a chance to like do their thing in basketball, just like men can do. It's a way for us to continue to uplift women's basketball and help them become the best that they can be on and off the court. Competing with the best players, the content we're gonna create, the connections we're gonna make. I'm just so excited for it all. You cannot beat us. Welcome to OT7. Oh my God, what a catch. Over the middle, taking a shot, T. Oh, oh, touchdown. Do you want sick highlights? Oh my God, what a catch. Insane rivalry. Yeah. They play, they play like dogs. And incredible ballers having the time of their life. They're going crazy. Have two ever seen players have more fun than this? Two minutes. Two minutes. Then this is the place for you. We are ready for an action-packed night of boxing. 
It's about giving the boxers more opportunities. This is OTX Friday Night Fight. He just got blasted. Bring me my snacks, and he is looking to eat right now. Big left hand, and down goes Swerl. Final moments. OTX, we go to an overtime round. OTX Boxing is still undefeated. Welcome back to more OTE basketball, man. Second half, let's take a look. 38 points to Kohar's 47 points, man. Hey, Jeff, what have you been seeing by these teams tonight? Oh, they're both playing hard, but the Kohar's came out with a lot more energy. Jelly found, they got to step it up, man. Kohar's down a couple men, and to be up at half like this, it's pretty impressive. Well, somebody that Jelly Fam has had has been producing out of his mind, Delquan Warren. Man, he's done his thing. He's hitting shots. He started off a little bit slow, but he's hitting shots now. He's still being the distributor that that team needs him to be. And he's really stepping up as that leader. Uh, I look for Ian Jackson, honestly, to take over that and really bring this thing home for Jelly Fam in the second half. And on the other side, it's like these two dudes got green lights. Michael Brown and Cannon Catches have been going crazy, Jeff. I mean, Cannon Catches is pulling up from anywhere. Anywhere. And, <laughs> and he's talking his talk every time he makes a shot. I love it. That's Indianapolis home. But uh, Michael Brown's been playing good. He's, He's not shooting great right now, but uh, he's been facilitating the offense very well. Hey, man, I feel like this game is going to be another one that goes down to the wire. If you're just now tuning in, the last game, Ian Jackson had to barely beat the Colharts with a game-winning layup with the left just to win it. It was that close, 80 to 78. I feel like this has all the makings to be another classic game. And, hey, we didn't even mention how good Trace Parker been doing. Defensively and offensively. Uh, Trey Parker's been balling. Uh, the energy he's playing with, I think he's igniting the team. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm about to say. That was tough. It barely missed. Uh -oh. Dequan Warren with the down to Jordan Skyers. Oh! Nice. That's a crazy nice. Nice. nice decision because Trey was about to was about catch to that. Hey, that thing was on a first-class fight. <laughs> to shine. <laughs> right. <laughs> Trey Parker with the ball. Deep oh, three ball. Today. Okay. That was a little bit of time. Yeah, that was a little crazy. A few fast break opportunities for the Jelly Fam now. Gotta get Ian the rock right here, man. And they do. Uh -oh. Free ball. I like he hesitated with that a little bit, though. Very. They could have caught a little push in the back, man. Yeah, we hoop it, man. Playoff yeah, basketball. Yeah, you're right. Let me stop crying. Chopper with the ball. I knew he was pulling. Three ball. Oh, oh, there's an argument. Yeah, I said there's an argument for that to be a four point play. He did get it. Hey, listen. For them to come out of the half, fast break late. And one three. Hey, Jeff, you mentioned that you wanted to see that energy. I feel like they matching that energy. Nah, the energy. They're coming out in the second half playing the right way, playing with a lot of energy. I told you that free throw in the first half might get him going. And, uh, he might have a big second half. Hey, man, uh -oh. no good on the free throw. But, hey. That one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but that was still a big-time shot. Oh, definitely. Now, I feel like the cohorts got to kind of match that energy because they kind of controlling the game right now. Three ball. No good by Hanon. Yep. And oh. another fast break opportunity. Throw it up. Ian Jackson decides to keep it and switch oh, with the right. Oh, oh, he's so tough, man. Hey, bro. Time out by Coach Pete. He got to slow down the cold hearts. I'm sorry. He got to slow down Jelly Fam. Coach Lado has to slow down Jelly Fam because they coming out with reckless abandon right now. All right. Yeah. Hey, Ian Jackson, feel motivated. Elijah Chopper Moore. Balling. Hey, Don, hey, Don, hey, Don. Pick your chin up. Pick your chin up. There's a lot of basketball to be played, all right? Huh? Come on. We need everything from you. Everything, all right? Come on. Come on. Hey, they're penetrating off our bad shots. Yeah, they're fast breaking off our bad shots. We got to eliminate that, all right? I want to be. All right, and then rebound, rebound, pin next time. I mean, uh, uh, pinch next time, pinch, pinch. Same way we drew it up. Hey, coach. I feel like Cohart's kind of got away with what they was doing in the first half already a little early, but it's still a lot of t still a lot of game left. I, I agree and I disagree. 
the difference is that they're just not making the shots. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're shooting the same shots. They're just not making them. And Jelly Fam has been able to, you know, yeah, make yeah, those points right. show up. They shoot those same crazy shots, but this time it's leading to long <laughs> rebounds and fast breaks. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I want to see, another, you know. Here another tough shot. <laughs> You're right, 100%. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, hey, yo. I think Cannon Cash is going to the league. I'm saying right now. And he's man, he's smiling and he's talking to him. He's 6'8, can handle the basketball on the perimeter. Long, like, bro, he, he kind of like. Oh, oh my, my god. god. That was hey, so tough. Who, who Cannon game remind you of if you had to do like an NBA comparison? I said Andrew Wiggins. Yeah, he do. He looked like Wig, everything. That's a foul. Oh, oh, the pass to Chopper. Uh oh. And just like that, we have a new basketball game. Hey, man. Just like that, the game is tied. I'm telling y'all, I think this is going down to the wire, Davis. Oh, 1,000%. Oh, I think they're trying to do another cannon post up. Hey, I spam it too. I spam the cannon post up. had an 80% 80, 80 effective rating. <laughs> oh, God. I'm expecting cannon. Right, he don't ball. like to dribble a lot, so what's going to happen here? He about to pull up. No, <laughs> up one leg. Oh, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I was going to stand up if he hit that. Bro, one-legged three ball. <laughs> He's about to lose his mind. <laughs> Doing a hey, tie bro. game, got it, bro. Doing a tie game of an elimination game. I don't even think I saw anyone do that at All Star Weekend. Hey, bro, that's insane. Uh oh, Jelly Three ball good for the Jewish guys. Jelly Fam have found a secret now. Hey, bro, they didn't turn it on right wow. now. Just the energy they had in the locker room after winning game two. It's family turnaround. Nah, he not gonna be able to shoot this one. Great defense. Trey Parker, excuse me, lay deep to the foul line. Yeah, they, they definitely fouled him. They could have been more disciplined right there. Hey, man. You all, know? all the cohort shots are tough shots. Philly film picked up their defense. Every shot that the cohorts are shooting is a tough shot. And then you see Jelly Film run down on offense. They get these easies. And we got Coach Pete with us right now. Coach, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, man. Blessed and highly favored. How y'all feeling? Hey, we feeling good, Coach. Hey, Delquan Warren is out on a mission right now. He came out balling. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah. We going, we going high no call it. I, I got you, I got you, I got you. Yeah. Oh, man, the world done heard that. The world just heard that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we ain't worried about good that, luck. though. <laughs> good luck for the next round. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to us more about Delquan, man. Man, 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 Delquan, he, he started off, you saw his energy was a little bit lackluster in the beginning. Man, so he needed to get himself going. So he got it on the defensive end. Now he got to go offensively. He's our general. We need him to play well right here. Right here, good solid. Oh, good five. Uh-huh, use it, use it, use it. Uh-uh. We hear that? Hey, coach, I want to ask you. We got it. Oh, yes, I told you, light it. I told you. Yo, yo. He told he you, you light it. Yo, yo, but the, oh, hey, my coach, God. Hey, Coach, I want to let you know. Saw that. Go ahead. <laughs> coach, I want to let you know, man, me and Jeff picked you. It's not picked against you. I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. Nah, I appreciate y'all. That's crazy. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm going to let you go to the team, man. I'm going to let you go to the team, man. I'm going to let you go to the team, Coach. Go ahead, yeah. man. Hey, yeah. Davis, you are an op, bro. I'm an honest man. Before, bro. I'm an honest man. Oh, no. the, the thing was, bro, it was like an unprovoked tail. Like, you didn't have to tail. It was no, it was no reason for hey, you man. to do that. Now I see I, the look. I'm now an honest I, man. I hope he doesn't dap you up after the game. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. It's all good. He the op. He, he <laughs> op. Hey, he snitched for no reason. It was no reason you gained nothing from that. <laughs> hey, Nando Santos at the line. Yo, even though this Colhart team right now is very undermanned, they're still in the game, and they had kind of control of the game before the second half. I, I wonder what it is that made them I mean, I guess it's just not hitting the shots. Because they look like it's night and day from the first quarter, at least. Hey, look. The energy shit. Absolutely. And we, we can't act like the, the situation ain't what it is. It's, it's elimination. I feel like Jelly Fam came out a little nervous, but now they're they ready to hoop. Are, is there any element of being, like, tired? I mean, I feel like these guys are in the best shape possible, so, like, could they just be tired? Could be, but I don't think that's the reason, though. I think it's the shots. The, the shot selection. Yeah. All oh, tough shots. They get some easy shots, some easy layups. Get some stops on defense, get a fast break. It'll look a little different. I, I have to also mention this. Uh, oh, right. my goodness. Yeah, you gotta have the it. hustle, the out. hustle. Look at the hustle by the cohorts. You gotta get a layup out of this. You gotta get a layup out. Can he catches? He's open for the three ball. Decide not to take it. Oh, the defense and the steal. And 
Jelly Fam is playing Denver right now and is working in their favor. Wow. Jelly Fam coming with the energy 55, the cohorts 51. We got a game on our hands. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back inside OTE Arena here in Atlanta, Georgia. Jelly Fam now with a four point lead. Chad, I want to know what do the Cold Hearts have to do to turn this tide? Because the first half was all Cold Hearts. They had a nine point lead, and now here they are down four. Chat, let me know. Je Jelly Fam just outscored the Cold Hearts so far 17 to four in the third quarter. It's been a crazy turnaround. I'm reading some of these uh, some of these comments. Energy from Jelly Fam is crazy. Before the game started, Jelly Fam had all the energy. Cold Hearts were pretty composed. They're much quieter. And then all of a sudden, the game started, and it looked exactly the opposite. Here in the second half, looks a lot more what I thought was going to happen to begin the first half. It's been all Jelly Fam. You see them on the floor diving for these loose balls. They look like the team who wants them more in this do or die right now. Uh, we see some of these comments here. Uh, that they need to play better defense. You know, I think the Cold Hearts defense has actually been pretty fine. You hear Coach Leto talking when they call that timeout a couple minutes in the third quarter. Their shot selection has not been great. They're getting a lot of long rebounds. Jelly Fam getting out in transition. I'm with you on the defense, but I think part of it is their shot selection too. And we heard Jeff Teague and some of the guys in the booth talking about that as well. Uh, Carter Smith said the Cold Hearts are gonna come back. Look, if we know anything from this series in games one and two, these games are coming down in the wire. They always have. They will so far. It, it will be like that in game three. I'm excited to see how this one wraps up. We have a couple more minutes left here in the third quarter. This one's going to come down to the wire, though. Uh, uh, they said they need more patience. I'm with you. The Cold Hearts do need a little more patience. They, they look a little, uh, a little bit like they have the jitters on the offensive end of the floor. I think they need to go back to be playing their brand of basketball. Snipe, back to you, though. And we're back, man. Third quarter action. Jelly Fan 55. Cohorts 51. Hey, man. We got a game on our hands. This third quarter has been all Jelly Fan. I think they might have to sub Big Fella back in. <laughs> You're probably right. Watch this monitor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. I think he gave him a different look when he subbed in the game. A threat at the basket when he was rolling. Three ball, Del Quan. Oh, right. oh, my God. Hey. Hey. Oh, no, don't do it. So, so, you know what happened or no? Yeah. Do you, how do you feel about that? Uh, it's out of pocket, though. I ain't going to hold you. It's out of pocket. It's out of pocket, bro. Hey, hey, hey Rep, what was the call there? Sorry, Tony. For Tony, what did he do? It was Tony. Just Tony. Why are you running from me like that, bro? Uh, Stop he, running. Stop he, running. He's ducking. He's yeah, ducking he, me. He don't right want to answer the question, Tom. And you putting the pressure on him, man. Yeah, hey, man. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> Hey, hey, you're doing an amazing job out there, man. Shout know, out to Overtime Day. Hoops is hoops, man. It is hoops, but. You can't be out here like, yeah. feel me? Yeah. It wasn't, that wasn't a full, you we, know. Don't, we don't need no malice in the palace actually. Right, right, home, right. bro. The <laughs> can't be on the blicks. That was an insane moment. <laughs> oh, oh, uh oh, oh. Okay. They got to make those. Don't get the catches. Oh, he's he's talking. Go, he's go. talking. <laughs> it wasn't water for him. He's still talking. It might be what Cannon need to get going in the second half. Hey, man, if, if I'm Jelly Fam, get a ball to Delquan Warren and get out the way. For sure. You ain't scoring on him, man. He's the best defender I've seen with all my eyes. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, that's out of body. I ain't never seen. Oh, uh -oh. finish. He, did he get away with one? I ain't never seen my kill jump like that and get a block. Hey, that's my first time seeing that. I'm about to say, I, I kind of caught me off guard. Look at this block, though, bro. He got up. Oh, he just took the ball out the air. He got a smash block. Hey, bro, that's like when you got a defender badge on 2K and <laughs> you just. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah, never mind. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Sorry, buddy. Good luck, though. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Brown with the ball, pick and roll with Hey Nine. Oh, man. to the goal. Ralph Martino. Oh, oh, in and out. In and out, man. They should basically count that, you know. Like, like a burger on the West Coast. That was in and out, brother. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Man. Man. <laughs> I don't know about that one, man. Chili <laughs> fan with the ball. That was a good shot, though. Hey, look, what's up, baby? What up, bro? Nah, wait a minute. What just happened? 
Everybody yeah. but you got motion. Wait a minute. Why did he just <laughs> do that? Everybody but you, everybody you got motion. He just Ian Jackson with the low. Get that out of here. Hey, man. In the words of Chris Brown, give me that. Oh, the floater. Oh, Trey Parker. Man, for those of you who didn't see, he was no one. <laughs> I feel like he... Hey, describe what just happened at this desk. Yeah. The Orkins just came through. <laughs> Jab deaf. Look straight at me, walk past me, dab, dab sniper. Hey man, that's what you call <laughs> no motion. Look at this denial. Hey, that, that, that might be the chase down. That might be the catch up lockdown. Oh, there's, definitely. There's a lot of options, man. That was okay a foul, too. I'm gonna go dab him after this. Yeah, absolutely. Make sure, you know. Make sure it's ain't the study. Yeah. Hey man, Trey Parker, brother of Quay Parker, as I mentioned, man, one of the most viral dunkers of all time. This is his second year here at OTE. And Jeff, you probably don't know this, but he's the second most famous person to ever come out of Fayetteville, North Carolina, other than J. Cole. Wow. That's insane. He wore number 69 in honor of his grandmother who passed away a few weeks before he joined OTE at the age of 69. And he made her a promise that he would graduate high school, and he actually did. Now, a lot of people won't remember, but he actually won a championship with the City Reapers just last season. So he got what it takes. He recently signed to NC State and reclassified for the class of 2024. And, hey, he has everything it takes to be dominant at that next level. And he got the bounce to win the NBA dunk contest the way it's looking. Oh, uh, yeah, he definitely got the bounce to win the NBA dunk contest after I seen the dunk contest. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my Georgia boy, but yeah, boy. Yeah, that hey, was Trey Parker versus Matt McClellan. Hey, I'm, I'm going Trey Parker. Uh, I like to see it. Hey. <laughs> hey, Trey got a viral viral video right now, Davis, where he threw the ball off the wall yeah, and I hit a that. 360 windmill I down. Saw I saw that. Insane. It, that was crazy. Insane. That right there would have got a 10 in the dunk yeah. contest. <laughs> no, <laughs> he would have won a dunk contest with that. And That's and why like I say he could win. It's just the fact that both of them have bounce. Yeah. And his brother have insane bounce. I wish I was like a stepbrother or something. Like, can I yeah, yeah, can yeah, be yeah. kind of related? Yeah. Distant yeah. cousin. I'll yeah. take that. For those of y'all who, who know, who don't know. Oh, you can't go under on that. You can't go under on that. Man. Yeah, you can't go on there on that. For those of you who don't know, Sniper, great hooper, man, but he, he can't even dunk on a slam ball. Trap that's, not, that's not true. It's 100% true. I, I'm that's not, not joking. Hey, man, that's a little hyperbole there. Oh, the up and under lay. Not good. Everything is tough for the cold heart. Yeah. Really? Oh, 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 great defense. What is yeah, defense. stay in the game? Maybe they can find some guys. Cannon catches up. in the corner. Oh, Cannon catches went to spot up. Trey ball. No good. I wish he would have went for if he would have covered it. Yeah, I like that three ball. I ain't going to lie. Gets his own rebound. Hey, Cannon catches. And he got something to say to him. Every time. Yeah, he's doing a lot of talking after every bucket, too. Hey, Cannon catches can go for three points, and they'll be the loudest three you ever seen in your life. Yep. Because he'll let you know. It'll be three free throws. <laughs> and you're going to hear something after every individual. Look at Cannon catches. Staying with the basketball and not giving up. <laughs> and just giving a, a short message from our sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this kid is tough as nails, man. Is that just how it is growing up in Indiana? Yeah, everybody act like that. So Besides you see them everywhere? Yeah, I mean, he a little excessive, but <laughs> yeah, for the most part, everybody talk like that. He's headed to Purdue to play some big-time basketball. Hey, man, I feel like he has what it takes to go to that next level. Jeff, what you think? Nah, I think he's a pro. Um, he got the size, the strength. The he confidence. can shoot the basketball, definitely has the confidence. <laughs> Um, and he comes from a basketball family. I mean, his, his aunt, Tamika Ketchings, is a Hall of Famer. So, yeah, he definitely got the skill set. We talk about, you know, trash talking and talking, though. Oh. Oh! oh. What? No foul. It's crazy, though. I didn't even know he could do that. Me either. Hey, hey, you never know what you're going to get here in OTE playoffs, man. We're getting players as oh. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Hey, bro. Yeah, they jumping for the stars There's today. so much happening right now. Can we get a look back at Michael Brown trying to baptize? Hey, bro, he ins. tried that to ins. delete him. See the denial from Solomon Amino. Hey, hey, bro, why Michael own that, though? Why he own that? I didn't even know he could do that. that. Either. Off the right leg, too? Jeez. Oh. If you can jump like that in the Adidas, I need a beer today. Oh, off the Hezzy? Hey. That's wow. a foul. It, it's oh, definitely yeah. a foul. It's definitely a foul. Hey, Dave, you need to go there and tell the ref, tighten up, buddy. Yo, Snipe, I'm under the hoop right now, and yeah. I got to say, the intensity <laughs> has ramped up like crazy. The amount of talking that's going on between every every bucket ramped up from the first half. Hey, you got a better look on the court than us. Who's been talking the most trash tonight from, from your viewpoint, Dave? One more time, Snipe. 
You got a better look on the court than us. Who's been talking the most trash on the court tonight, Day? Uh, you know, I got to say, and I'll be honest, I didn't hear your question, but Aminu is, is dominating <laughs> underneath the hoop right now. Every single time they go to the paint, he is there waiting for them. And it's a big difference. When he's out of the game, they're going to the rack a lot more. And I, I think when he's in there, they're settling, the cold hearts are settling much more from the outside. Hey, man, Aminu is killing it on rebounds and blocks, Davis. He does it all. Uh, 100%. 100%, man. He's such a, he, like, he fits his role. Like, he does his role. And to answer your question, it's Cam Davis. Yeah, yeah. For, what I, <laughs> you didn't hear that. You didn't hear that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> hey, man. He's aggressive, man. Hey, he want to he win. Hey, now, no Santos back to Kenny Catchings. It would have been cash. It would have been cash. Unfortunately, we're size 38. All right. They're going one on the break. Oh! Yeah, he just hey, that's what it looked like on 2K when you missed time your dunk. Yep. <laughs> Hey, man, why the ref hate no cannon, bro? He would have got a wide open three ball. Oh, the bounce pass to Hayden! Oh. Oh, hey, Jeff, would you be surprised if this game go down to the wire? Oh, I think it's going to overtime. Oh, hey, that'd be tough. That's why I, that's why I wanted to pick, but they ain't let me do that. Hey, but if it does go to overtime, the man with the ball right there is who you got to worry about. Uh, He's 100%. hit two game winners already in, in, that, in that exact fashion. Exactly. <laughs> Offensive foul. By, uh, 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 on you, buddy. On you. All right. That's the same reason why Damian Wilkins didn't dab you up. Offensive foul. I'm telling you, at break, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. <laughs> you going to go check d Will? No, I'm going to say, hey, is everything okay between us, man? Uh, okay. like, we, we cool? Hey, man, you got no motion here, buddy. All right. Could be what it is. Big bonus. If you guys are unfamiliar with the big bonus is, imagine a power play in hockey. The offensive team will get a 4-D-5 advantage to make a play. Any foul on the offensive team doing this play will end up in an automatic bucket. Now, Davis, who do you think is going to score this basket for the cohort? Shea Parker, D3. Shea Parker, D3. I'm going to go Kenny catches. Post fake. <laughs> jab step, one dribble pull. I'm being for very sure. descriptive. Kenny catches, jab step, one dribble pull. Okay. Oh, great one, too. Look at the <laughs> Gamble my house, mortgage, and car. You got a tech. Yeah, look, 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 look. Oh, oh. <laughs> and, and Coach Lado is down here yelling at RWE players for hyping up his guys too much and getting a tech. Hey, man, this is not his first go around with a technical foul. My boy is Dennis Robin with the tech. <laughs> he got a late technical foul that some say may have cost him the game. I don't, know, I, don't, I don't know who said that. Hey, it was you, buddy. All right, um, chill out. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm willing, to, I'm willing to gamble my house and car that Kenny Catchers is leading the league in technical fouls. <laughs> Shout out to my dog. Yo, yo, he's balling, though. The, yeah, he hooping, the level of intensity. Yo, that, that dunk was crazy, though. That was, that was, I got I to gotta talk to him, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got to talk to my guy, man. Hey, man he needs some veteran leadership. Yeah, I got I to gotta talk to my guy, man. Hey, hey that dunk was crazy. Jeff, I got to ask a question for you, man. Not even just trash talk, but is there any player that talks that you play against? Or play with that just talks the whole game. Like just talks. Ah. I mean Pat Bev talked the whole game. I ain't play with Pat Bev. PJ Tucker talked the whole game. Okay. Yeah, they talked the whole game. How, how bad was Draymond? Draymond I talk. was oh, man, he talked the whole game too. <laughs> that was a cla that was a classic pod, man. Check out that Jeff T Draymond Green pod if you ain't get to see that one. I oh, appreciate that, bro. Yeah, man. Jeff told me, man, um, I'm on the next episode, so I'm looking forward All to right. being out there, bro. I'm going to pull up. All hey, right. man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out 520. I'm going to definitely be pulling up, so make sure y'all tune in to that episode. Pull he ain't say that, but I forced my hand. All right. Yeah. <laughs> no. That's a opportunity. He got hit that. Three uh -oh. ball. Oh. oh. He has, not been, he has okay. not been able to get stroking like I've been expecting him to. Whoa. That's insane. Uh -huh. Hey, no, no. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, Sky's could have been a quarterback. The way he. Yeah. And not that fast break right there. Yeah. <laughs> You good, bro? I'm good, man. We talking hoops, man. Hey, man you know, <laughs> some people are. Uh, Trey Parker <laughs> taking the ball out right now. 64 63. Can't catch his post fake buzzer beater. Oh, yeah. I can't get it in right now. Step back. Two seconds left. He gets the oh. That's so okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. And they called it. Even though Ian Jackson hands it straight up, there's a lot of body contact on that lay. Now, Michael Brown is headed for the line for two shots. What have you been seeing from Michael Brown today, Jeff? Uh, his shots hasn't been falling like they normally do, but he's been able to get to the paint. Uh, he's been getting fouled, but he's been getting a lot of no calls, but he's still aggressive. 
And um, at some point, like I said, a free throw can really get you going. Absolutely. So if he knocked down his next free throw, it's a chance that he can really get it going in this game. He's six and six at the line. Um, yo, the entire Cohorts team has contributed to this slim lead that they have right now. Trey Parker with 13, Cannon catches 17, A9. Oh, A9 with 13, Michael Brown with 11. It's been a team effort for the Cohorts. We got to take a look at this Cannon catches dunk though. Uh oh. Welcome back inside OTE Arena. I'm Alex Day, and before we even talk about that third quarter, that cane and catching dunk. Chat, was that the best dunk of the year so far? Because I was right underneath the hoop. The aggression on that put back dunk. And look, I've also been down here for the hoop for most of that third quarter. The amount of talking going on, not just with catchings and Brown, but on both sides. It is intense down here. It is a playoff atmosphere. It, the, the energy has been turned up to a whole nother level. Chat, let me know if that was the best dunk so far this year at OTE. Now in that third quarter, Jelly Fam outscored them 25 to 19. Entertaining third quarter. When we talked at the four minute mark, it was all Jelly Fam. Jelly Fam was going off. They outscored him 17 to four. But in that second half of the third quarter, Cold Heart said, not so fast. And I love the way that they fought and they didn't get discouraged. We heard Coach Lato in the huddle giving his guys words of encouragement that, hey, we got a lot of basketball left. We can't have our heads down right now. Yes, that was a bad couple minutes. And they came back. Cold Hearts now have a three-point lead. I'm looking up at the scoreboard here right now. Chat, we talked about predictions before the game. We talked about predictions when the Cold Hearts were up big at the end of the first quarter. Who do you think is going to come out on top? Because right now with a three-point game, and what we saw in games one and two, this one is coming down to the wire as well. Now, on the Cold Hearts side, all these dudes are scoring, and we got contributions all over the place. Four out of the five guys who are on the floor to end the third quarter are in double figures for Cold Hearts. Will that continue? Or will one guy step up in particular for him? I can't wait for this fourth quarter. Cyber Jones, back to you. I'd like to take this time to shout out to nice Adidas Six fan Paul McBee from Atlanta, Georgia. Paul's favorite OTE team is RWE, and his favorite OTE player is arguably the best dunker in the league, Ja'Kai Howard. Paul, thank you for being a super fan of OTE, and our own overtime day is with him right now. Dave, man, what's going on down there? Thank you, Sniper. I'm here with Paul. Paul, how's this game so far? It's been really great. Now, is this your first OTE game? No. How many have you been to? I've been to, like, almost all of them. Almost, oh, you're a diehard, diehard. Yeah. So who's your favorite player? My favorite player got to be Ja'Kai Howard. Okay, but Ja'Kai is on the City Reapers. You're, you're wearing a Cold Heart shirt under there. Yeah, but I feel like Ja'Kai Howard, I just love how he plays, you know? Now, if Ja'Kai was in the NBA dunk contest, how do you think he would do? He would do really good, because I've seen him jump over seven footers. Do you think he would have beat Matt McClung? Yes. Easily? Easily. Do you have, like, one favorite dunk of his? Um, Ja'Kai? Yeah. Is there one that stands out to you? Uh, maybe when he does it. The windmills look really smooth, I'm not going to lie. The windmills are crazy. Wait, who's your favorite NBA player? Probably Trey Young. Trey Young? Yeah. Look, Paul, I'm from New York. Uh, we don't we don't love Trey Young up in New York at Madison Square Garden. I'm just saying, Trey Young is him. It, oh, come on now. Come on now. And, and you're a big Hawks fan too? Yeah. Now, do you enjoy watching NBA more or OTEs? Why is that? It's just way more interactive and fun to be at. I got you. I'm, I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. This has been a great season. Paul, appreciate you being the sixth fan of the game. Wait, real quick, who do you have winning this game? Cold Hearts. Cold Hearts winning. You heard Paul. That means it must happen. Snipe, back to you. Hey, I don't know if Trey Young is him, but I'll tell you who is. Michael Brown with the deepest three of the game so far. Oh, you're on Jelly Lane. That boy, get to that cup. Hey, man. Hey, Jeff, me and you looked at each other when Cannon Catchers got a crazy block on the mid-range. That's insane, bro. Nah, man, he got the tools to be 
an NBA player for sure. His wingspan is OD to turn around over the right shoulder. Oh, he's pushing. Hey, he's bro, too little. what is happening right he's now? too little. Yo, Kenny catches is putting on a master class <laughs> on both sides of the ball. Davis is not just offense. Man, and, he, and he's having fun too, man. He's having fun. <laughs> hey, man, Drake said it best. The moment I stop having fun with it, I'll be done with it. And they having fun coming back and making this game a little bit more difficult for Jelly Fam to win. Snipe, I'm just happy you're done with the Chris Brown references for once. Oh, hey, goodness, listen, I'm man. I'm glad we mixed it up for once. Hey, look, I ain't done yet. I'm just waiting for my next opportunity, my brother. Give me that. But just know, <laughs> it's never the right time to say goodbye. Oh, this guy. <laughs> yeah. We're not doing this today. Hey, man, shout out, shout out to all my music lovers out there, man. Y'all know. And hey, right on time. The biggest substitution in the game, the specialist, Ralph Martino, has okay. checked in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Hey, this guy's going to give you a lot of energy, and he's also going to pick up right where he left off last game. Cole Hosky really pulled away right here. Oh, my goodness. Hit the brakes. Yo, Paul Warren on a fast break. Euro. They don't have numbers. Oh. Joe Parker, man. Hey, look at look, look at look at the cohort scoring. You got 15 from Mikel, 13 from Hey Nine, Cannon with 19, Trey Parker 13, Ralph with seven. They getting it from everybody. Hey man, Jelly Fam led in the fourth quarter of both games, game one and game two, and now they're down. So it's exciting to see if they're gonna be able to overcome some adversity. You see Ian Jackson. Attacking the basket. Oh, I don't know if that was a foul, but that was a great take by Ian Jackson. Oh, that's not a foul. That be sportsmanship by Marcis helping him back up, man. What a great guy. Okay. Um, Ian Jackson is without a doubt one of the best players on the court tonight. McDonald's All-American headed to UNC. Only 12 points on the night. I feel like they be getting a heavy dose of Elijah Moore with 19 and Delquan Warren with 21 leading. Are y'all surprised that Delquan is leading the team in points? Yeah, honestly, I thought I thought Ian would have about 30 right now. I'm not surprised. I mean, he's a capable scorer, but you knew that he was keying in on Ian today. I was going to say, man, you know, it's it's game three, which is equivalent to a game seven in the NBA, which means loser is going home. If you're playing for a coach like Coach Leto, he's a historian. He's been here before. I know that Coach Leto was talking to his team about, hey, look, this is the rundown. Ian Jackson is their guy. Another one, another one, Let's take one. him out as much he's as we can. There. And I he's feel like that's there. been a game plan. And Jelly fans, they've been able to come through and step up with big plays from Dale Quan Warren. Right now, all on overtime day has Coach Pete on Vobcam. Hey, Coach Pete, you're down you're down four right now. How do we get back to that momentum for the beginning of the third quarter? Oh, we got to defend and rebound. We got to defend and rebound. Pull up. Oh, oh, my goodness. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. Hey, hey. hey. Defend and rebound, baby. How do, we how do we like how your squad's playing right now? Uh, right now, we're doing all right, man. We still getting a little bit late. I still need more rebounding. Right now, they winning the rebounding battle. We got to win the rebounding battle to win the game. Fourth quarter, do or die. How do we tap into that extra level of energy right now? I know extra That's level. Cool. Energy is always there. Energy is always there. Appreciate it, Coach Pete. Hey, man, Cannon catches is everywhere like broken glass. This fourth quarter is going to come down to the wire. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh! oh and he's still hot, Davis. He hasn't cooled down at all. At all, man. I'm glad he pointed to the ground so he didn't get that T again. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, hey. A wise man learns from his own mistakes. That's a fact. Cannon catches post uh -oh. up. No, he didn't. Oh! Yes, this is strong, man. Hey, bro. Ian Jackson, that, hey, catch that block down. I'm calling it. Yeah, that, that, is too yeah, that's that's it. Man. that looked like the block by James. <laughs> the block by James. <laughs> that looked like that was huge. Trey Parker gets it back. Her foul was insane. Insane. Hey, hey, it's playoff basketball, man. I don't know. Playoff basketball or not, man. A foul is foul. <laughs> yeah. That's a tough lay also by Trey. Man. Three-point game, 70 to 73. Daquan Warren with the hot hand. 
EJ Jackson got to take it to the cup, man. Hey, man. Hey, look at this matchup. Look how blessed we are for this matchup. Ian Jackson head to head against Cannon Catches. Oh, what a hustle. Wow. Michael Brown. Time. Hey, man. This one might be a classic. I've never seen something like this before. 73 to 70. Cole Hart's on top. You don't want to miss the rest of this game, man. Three-point game here in the fourth quarter. Hey, between the third and fourth quarters, we were talking about that Cannon Catchings dunk. He keeps doing it. Now, he almost caught another body right there, Ian Jackson. We heard Sniper Jones say blocked by James, but that really did look like it. Now, I've got the City Reapers down here. I've got RWE down here. They're going crazy watching this game. I know you are at home. We have a three-point game. Who do you think is coming out on top here? And who does Jelly Fam need to step up? Because right now, Delquan Warren is still carrying the load. We're still waiting to see if Moore or Jackson really go on one of those hot streaks and get and catch fire like we've seen them do in the past. Let's check what's going on in the chat here. Jaden uh, Jaden says, OMG, this is crazy. Jaden, I'd have to agree with you on that one there. Marshall says, please give me a shout out. I'm begging you. Marshall, you're welcome. Uh, yo, is, is OTE, is RWE out yet? No, RWE is not. But all your attention should be right here right now because the Cold Hearts and Jelly Fam have a three-point lead, eight minutes to go. Now, we heard snipers say Jelly Fam has held a lead in the fourth quarter of both games one and two. And they're down three right now, but this could go either way. It'll be interesting to see how they do coming from behind opposed to having the lead from before. Me personally, I think Jelly Fam has this because right now they're not playing their best and it's still a three-point game. I still think that they have their best basketball inside them. And with a short bench for the Cold Hearts, it'll be also interesting to see if they get tired as this game comes down to the wire. These guys have played a lot of minutes. They only have two guys on the bench. This one's going to be coming down to the wire. I picked Jelly Fam before the game. It looks like a lot of people also are sticking with their pick of Jelly Fam. I've been under the hoop for a lot of these buckets here, and Cannon Catchings has this building going crazy. So the building seems to be on the Cold Heart side, but you can't count out Jelly Fam either. Snipe, Jeff Teague, Davis, back to you guys. Hey man, now it is time for the Cash App Lockdown of the game, which you probably already know what it is, Jeff. Hey, Ian Jackson got the LeBron Game 7 chase down. Man, I was so special, man. Hey, bro. Brought some energy with that. They needed that, too. If he didn't block that? Hey, bro. Hey what, hey, what is his chase down on? If he on 2K, what is chase down on? That silver, Hall of Fame? Go, 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 I'll take that. I'll take that. Seven minutes and 40 seconds left in this fourth quarter. What has been a close game the entire game. Michael Brown oh, wow. to Trey Parker, three ball. <laughs> Slash. He is balling right now, man. Trey Parker with 16 points on the night. This might be, this might be his best offensive game he's had. <laughs> and it's exactly when they need it. Three ball right back. No good. I mean, I'm not, I can't get that. He can score it's your time now, Nah, man, with, with Elijah, man, you got to let him rock out. Now, Jeff, what are you looking for in this set coming down? You see they switched. They no longer have Jordan Skyers on. Kenny. They put Elijah Moore. You think that's a good switch? Uh, uh like I'm looking. I'm thinking. I probably, I probably would put Ian Jackson on him. But, uh. That other matchup right there, Scott, it ain't. Uh, he back on him yeah, now. It's not going to hey, if, I'm, if I'm Coach Pete, I'm sending a double immediately. As soon as he starts the back down motion, oh, I'm, I'm sending two that way. No. Jump time. Hey, Trey Parker is not only scoring, he's playmaking. What a finish by Hernando Santos. Guys, keep in mind that this team has a very short roster. They don't have all their players right now, and they have been able to hold off Jelly Fan for the majority of the game, Davis. Man, it's been so impressive, man. And I thought they'd get iron out of it, too. But they're playing so motivated, trying to make it to the semifinals. Michael Brown bringing the ball down. That's a bar. My goodness. Uh-oh. Another back oh, pass. Oh, my goodness. Your hands got to be better. A little too hot to handle right there. Hands no good. <laughs> hot hands hanging. <laughs> what movie was that? Come Go on, giant. hot hands. Go yeah. giant. <laughs> 
Hey, bro, that's a W reference. I hate it. It's crazy. Three ball Trey Parker, by man. Trey Parker. Huge. He locked in, man. And he throwing down from the other end. Hey, Cannon catches might have the most impressive dunks this year, but this yeah, one does not fall Ooh. short. Look at that, bro. Man, that was insane. It looked better in real life. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> nah, I don't even think. Hey, that might have been. That, that might not even be his best dunk of the day. I mean, he had so many of them. Hey, like, look at that right there. I mean, man, he's been talking that talk and walking that walk. He can do it all. <laughs> My boy, different. <laughs> he's built different for sure, man. Can he catch his? Headed to Purdue no, no, no. after yeah, this, yeah, man. Yeah. He's got everything it takes to be a pro player. And, and when he does that, that's where a slip comes from. Hey, so this is what this is what we have, okay? Michael, as you bring it up, and Cannon, you set that, that step-up screen. You come up, give yourself some room. So set it inside the three-point line, okay? When you do that, and then, hey, Nan, you clean it up. So he's coming off. And you setting it or you slipping. That's what's wide the hell open, all right? But you guys have to exchange. The OTE playoffs continues with round three this Friday. First at 7 p.m., we'll have the reloaded RWE taking on the MVP frontrunner, Eli Ellis and the YNG Dreamers, exclusively on Prime Video. Then at 9 p.m., we'll be on YouTube and Prime Video to see the winner of today's game go head-to-head -head against the high-flying Ja'Kai Howard and the City Reapers. Stay tuned to OTE as we get closer to crowning the 2024 OTE champion. Yes. Ian Jackson oh, out of the okay. timeout, getting his bag. It's time for him to show up, man. 100%. Jordan Skyers, no good on the three ball. I that he has a good year, man, but it's time for him to take control. Hey, man, I, I like I like him letting the game come to him. It's a lot of time to kind of let it come buddy, to buddy, him. There's six minutes left in the season. He got to go crazy. Yeah, he got, he got, <laughs> he got, all right, he got uh -oh. oh, Michael with the crazy shimmy in the stutter step. Oh. Hey, team, the change of oh. the change of speed on that was crazy. The change of pace was crazy. That's gotta be a double digit lead, man. Hey, I'm, I'm curious. You've been to a lot of these games, Jeff. You got a chance to see a lot of the talent here at OTE. Is there anybody at all here that they game kind of reminds you of yourself? Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm a fan of Michael Brown, so I'm gonna say Michael. Okay, Brown. that's solid though. Ain't nothing wrong with that. We might have to change that player comparison. Right now, they say Michael Brown's NBA player comp is Mike Conley. What you feel about that? I mean, he's from Indianapolis too, so I can, I can see that. We all kind of play something. And Michael Brown Jr. The rebounds today. One of the best point guards in the country, and he's putting all his talents on full display tonight. 15 points, a leader, old soul is what they call him, and he's been big tonight when they need him most. It's going to go home, Davis. 100 percent, man. And, and how about this? The rebound discrepancy today. Check this out. 50 to 29 in favor of the Cole Hearts with no John Ball. Hey, that's probably because Kenny Cashman got a double double. He got 12 boards. I know. I'm sure Trey Parker, how many rebounds he got? Because he's been rebounding too. Trey has been going crazy on the rebounds as well, man. His whole team has been rebounding. And I'm sure, like Jeff, you you play, man. Whenever you have a smaller lineup, it's always vocal about, hey, we don't have a big, we got to crash. Yeah, you got to crash. And you're more active. No, we're not waiting around for John to go out of rebound. So Absolutely. Yeah. Ten point lead for the Cohorts ending out this fourth quarter. I feel like the Cohorts are kind of slipping away, man. If Jelly Fan wants to go to the next round, they're gonna have to make some buckets and get some stops pretty quickly. And if you want to get some buckets, Jelquan Warren, that's a good place to start. He's been on fire tonight. Three ball. You call for it. Man, so I'm not mad at Panic Catching has 12 rebounds, right? 13 now. Hey <laughs> nine. Uh, Hey nine has nine, and Trey Parker himself with nine as well. Hey, they, they come on, but you know, a point goal. You better right, right have. There's three potential double doubles on the scene today. Man, a that's whole. A, that's team a crazy stat line. Yeah, the whole team effort. The hook pass. <laughs> Go your guy. Tough. And one. Martino, his number oh. is called, so you know he bombed. Oh my goodness. Hey, man. hey, hey, Rob Martino need more minutes, man. I'm telling you right now. Put him in the starting lineup. I, I agree, man. He showed up big for this team today. We need a Ralph Martino day with uh -huh. nothing but Ralph Martino jerseys are in the stands. All right. <laughs> because right now, he is going insane. Man, Jelly Fam, if you if you want your season to continue, man, you have to step up right now. Oh, 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 my oh goodness. God. If he's oh, a tough oh. shot. Good no defense, good on three. Though. That's good, D. Way to be patient. It's so easy it's, to fall for a... It's time to put him in the coffin. It's so he, easy to fall for, for a... Uh, 
an Ian Jackson crossover. Oh, that's he sells this time to put him in the coffin. I guess what a rebound. That was a foul. <laughs> if I ever see one in all my days. I don't know what a foul. You got to hit Chopper. You got to hit Chopper. Oh, great pass into Ian right. Jackson. That point game. Hey, that, hey, that foul was so obvious, man. I would feel offended. Hey, Nando Santos. Right back to Michael Brown Jr. Hey, that's yeah. a foul, too. And hey, you know what I've been liking about what Michael's been able to do the entire season and hasn't been talked about, Jeff? His ability to manipulate the pick and roll yeah. is next level. Yeah, he sure. gets everything he wants, whether he wants the deep three ball if you go under. Look at that. The the um, decisions. He can I make a quick dump off pass. Yeah, I actually don't think that's a foul, though. Okay. No, no but talk to me on this. Maybe y'all tell me. He jumps into the guy to force the guy. Back. That's, that's called... Bait the foul. Yeah, that's the foul. Yeah, but you can't go under. Like, you got to okay. go straight up. We good, we good, we good, we good. But that's okay. just being a good, good. player. Yo. When I mean, you can manipulate the you game like he is, that's just being a good player. Davis, let me teach you something, buddy. All right. Majority of fouls are always drawn from the offensive player. For sure. That's just the game. Go into their chest, make a miss if their hands out, hit them with the A. You got to do the ad lib. Thank you so much for, for, for the game, Sniper. Hey, no problem, man. <laughs> Maybe you can take that, you know what I'm saying, and go off and be a better player. Now, oh, what you were saying, what he do with the pick and roll. Yo, we get the bucket. We you win. can tell that he watches film because he makes the right pass almost every time yeah. for the right read. He looks for that corner man, whoever's the low man coming over. He looks for that corner man, or he looks for the road man. But he uses his eyes 50, to, to 50, like, distract go. the defense really we well. In it. Go! How much How much would uh, Michael Brown Cut, get, to get Pike, bro? Oh, we trapping. We <laughs> have a bad game against us. We trap it. Oh, oh, my God. God. That's a foul, oh, no. too. Oh. I think he slipped. 12 point lead for the cohorts. They're pulling away when they need it most, but don't go anywhere. I feel like Jelly Fam get back in the game. Welcome back inside OTE Arena. 12 point game. Cold Heart starting to pull away. The season is on the line for Jelly Fam. This is for a chance to go to the semifinals, face the City Reapers, and right now, they are on the brink of elimination. So chat, tell me what Jelly Fam needs to do to get back in this game. Right now, Cold Hearts are getting all the boards. They are dominating the glass. They're getting those second chance opportunities. And even without John Bull, the Cold Hearts are dominating the glass. So what does Jelly Fam need to do to get back in this game? Right now, Ian Jackson has 16, Moore has 19, but it's really been those two guys, along with Delquan Warren, who have really carried the load for Jelly Fam. So what do they need to do, and how do the Cold Hearts hold on to this lead? They're up 12. They're outscoring them 18-9 to here in this fourth quarter. How do the Cold Hearts hold on to it, and how does Jelly Fam get back into it? I'm looking at the chat right now. Uh, Tom says, do you miss me, Day? Tom, of course I'm. I'll see you back in New York, Tom. Uh, looks like a rat. Oh. Uh, uh, Met Metric says, looks like a rap. GG's. Are we saying GG's to Jelly Fam already? Look, a team with Ian Jackson, a team with more, a team with as much talent as they have. I know it's 12 points, but with still four minutes left, it's not GG's yet. Come on now. Uh, uh, give Elijah Moore the ball. Uh, yeah, absolutely. By the way, I see people in the chat asking about uh, my sweatshirt right now. This is an unreleased OTE sweatshirt. Not to brag about it, but you can get one. It's coming out, I believe, next week on the OTE shop. Uh, so you can check that out as well. I forgot who just asked me that right there. You hear the horn. We got four minutes of action left. The winner of this game moves on to the semifinals, faces off against the City Reapers. I've got the City Reapers sitting right here. They are licking their chops at whoever they get to play next. They want, <laughs> they want either of these teams. So 12-point game, four minutes left. Who do you think is going to come out on top? I, it's hard to come up, but I think I might have to go Cole Hearts now. It might be time for Ian Jackson to bring out those fourth quarter heroics right now because they need him now more than ever. Down 12 with only four minutes left in this fourth quarter. We've seen him do it before, Davis, the game-winning layup against Roland Loud to even get in the playoffs. And, of course, we've seen it just the last game, forcing the game three. He's shown he can do it. 100% he can do it, and that's why I'm like, it's now or never. I mean, this could be Ian Jackson's last four minutes of his OTE career, man. 
which is a sad sight to see. Very it's, sad. It, it's nothing better than, than seeing Ian Jackson. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. On his head. Oh, no. no prop, I want him to prop, do it. Please. I want him to do it. Oh, man. I think he's trying to he's trying to watch for the clock. So let me give you all a, a little background on why I got excited. Oh, God. Ralph Martino has one of the most impressive verticals in OTE and, and we never, never see it. Yeah. Oh, he got bounced? Bro, he, 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 he can even to do something same. crazy. He's like a dunk show champion, bro. His bounce is, like, insane. And I just thought he was going to tee off. I bet if I talk to him after the game, he's going to be like, I should have did it. All right, that point game. Great pass. Uh -oh. oh, no. Pull up. <laughs> nah, that's insane. <laughs> hey, hey, nah, that's crazy. His man's was up there. Hey, kids, always follow your rebound. <laughs> Here comes Jelly fam. They got, hey, hey, they got some momentum going a little bit, Jeff. Let's see what they can do. Nine-point game. Elijah, that's a that two-pointer. That's a tough shot. Oh, wow! Oh. 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 like Trey kind of came down a little awkward. Trey Parker walking a little gingerly right now. Came down bad on the rebound. Told Coach he's good. Let's take a look at yep. that rebound. Oh, yep. yep. Like you said, man, he just know he know where to be. He knows his role, Davis. Hey, Jelly Fam is making that push. He thinks he's gonna walk it off. We, we definitely gonna find out. Yeah, oh, oh, that's trap. Oh, he's running. Another race pass. They wind up working. Kenny. Oh, oh Martino. Keep oh, Martino. Shot. No good for the three. Wow. And, it's, and his zone is speeding him up. It's exactly what they want him to do in a crazy lane. And now it's a five point game. <laughs> They shoot, they're rushing, they shot. Yeah, but and it's exactly what they want to do in this zone. They don't want to get a turnover. They just want to really rush you. And hey, not being smart, holding the ball, trying to get a quality look. Ralph Martino. Ralph Martino, mini magician. Hey, the, the work that's put in an empty gym for one day fill arenas. Oh, man, I love that. And he's been able to put it all on display tonight. Oh, that's a hook. Yeah, he got to get out. He got a hook if I ever seen one. Oh, deep. Oh, now they let him get away with that. That's kind of insane. This is a five-point game, people. We're in for a good one. This is an AAU trap if I ever seen one before. And, and they rushing. Oh, they rushing. They rushing. I don't know. Coach Lado might need to talk to the team. They rushing. They're Quan Warren. He got an open and for three. We got to get. Oh, 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 my goodness. That would have changed the place. They needed that one. Everything. And when it's yeah, it, it goes from either two to seven now. Thank you, Coach Lado calling timeout. I'm sure he's going to tell his team, slow down, we, we rush it, we got the lead, way, and the clock is in our favor. Let's hear what he got to say. Ow. Ralph Martino with the impressive mid-range jumper. Man, You're not bleeding. like you said, one of the greatest guys. Yo, hey, man. Just an amazing listen. guy. Now, we've had some great playoff moments in this very building. Let's take a chance to look at a few of them. We got Team OTE. We got Team Elite. Here we go. A door. Oh. And oh. oh, my God. Oh. Here we go. Running the first ever overtime Elite champion. Team Elite. We've been waiting all season for this right here. OTE playoff. We're going to overtime. Arch has been undermanned the entire game with only seven players in jerseys. And somehow, some way, they are leading the charge with five-point lead with only a minute and 40 to go. Hey, fellas, I'm the only person that picked them. Yeah, and I'm sticking to my pick. It's still a lot of basketball left, Jeff. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, my bad, y'all. I, I don't <laughs> hard, man. But Jellyfilm got a big, they got a chance. They've been speeding them up. They've been making, taking some bad shots, so still the game. It's still a lot of basketball left, man, but it's very impressive to see a team with only seven guys go head-to-head -head against one of the best teams here at OTE. And it's going to need everything they can out of this minute and 40. I see what Coach Lato called out of the timeout. See, Jeff, what I like to do with coaches, man, is look at they, look at they play calls at the timeout to get an idea of what they're looking for in the, for the rest of the game. And, you, and you're a coach yourself, too, so what would you call right there? I saw from a cam. You think I was the player or broke down? Um, I, I definitely They wanted to get the switch with Cannon, but uh, they didn't switch. They went under the screen. The pass to Amino right back to Chopper. Three yeah. ball! Uh, that was a great contest. He got his own rebound. But he on the drive. Wide open, hey. 
three-point game. One minute left. What more could you ask for? Let's see if they decide to speed the game up or slow it down. Oh, Ralph Martino wide open, but they decided to do the smart thing and slow the game down. That's smart play. Someone got to get the cannon in the corner. Oh, oh. Hey, that's such a great sale. It is. The head fake. It is. Ah. Exactly. It works every time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've seen Jeff do that a hundred times. <laughs> got to. A hundred times. Throw the head back. I said, I said, I said what I said. <laughs> Y'all crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Y'all do that. Hey, hey. Throw the head back. Here we go. <laughs> At the One line. left. <laughs> By Kale Brown Jr. Shoot two. Oh, I love y'all dudes, man. <laughs> <laughs> y'all dudes is crazy. <laughs> By Kale. Hey, he's built for these big moments, Jeff. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. He's been perfect at the line tonight, eight for eight. I hope I ain't jinxed him there, but hey, he got the, the announcer he, jinx. I know, man. He got the ludicrous disturbing, the, disturbing the peace throw out right now, <laughs> and and he has, absolutely is ludicrous in this game. He's going crazy. Huge free throw. They got to keep the ball in his hand. They'll call Ward. Oh, 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 no, man. I can't. I can't see. Yeah, I, can't I ain't gonna lie. My angle wasn't the best. I can't argue that. Yeah, I'm, 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 you gotta make these. I'm glad he fouled him though. To give up an easy layup. That was an easy layup. Yeah, he would have made that. Yeah. Oh, that looks like Cole Paul. Clean. And that's clean and it's supposed to be up. Hey, hey, notice <laughs> coaches can review. We do have a new review but he did, he's not in effect. Do it. Coaches can, can review can under it. two minutes. I don't think he is though. Oh. Yeah, I think I, I think Moore he might got, be selling. Moore gotta hurry up and shoot this right <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you better hurry up. No, I don't think Coach Lado's looking for the review. Huge. But a new rule here at OTE, coaches have one chance to review. One. It has to be under two minutes, so maybe he's feeling like, you know, he might need that a little later on, Davis. First one good by Dale Kwan Warren. Second shot. See, that's why, no you're, good. That's why you're fouling. Like, oh. earning at the line. Hey, they got into wow. a break. They got into a uh -oh. break. Oh, no. Oh, oh he Go hard basketball. I feel like Cannon wanted to dunk it, but he thought about being smart and, and not dunking at the same time. He ain't throwing it right away. Yeah. It is under a minute left. Oh, and it's their ball. I see Jackson with the move. Man, this is That's where your stars step up. Let's see. Oh! He got his pockets! The lane! Oh, my goodness! That was a huge. The steal! They got to make something happen. Oh, he got caught in the air! Let him go. Stop push! No oh. good! Oh, 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 my goodness, it's coming down to a fellas. Foul, and just like that, the cohorts are in control of the game. Came into this game with only seven players on the roster, wow. and now they are in control and can win the <laughs> look, game. Look at Cannon. <laughs> Cannon Thanks. catches. I mean, hey, gosh, look at the scoreboard right now. All players are in double figures. It has been a complete team effort to beat Jelly Fam, and everybody stepped up when they needed them to. Oh, man. Misses his first free throw of the night, but only 24 seconds left in the game. Jeff. Don't push him under. Don't push him under. One shot. One. What a game. Oh, that's a close free throw right here. 100%. Boom! Just like that. Boom. Hey, man. Hey, get him on the Ian Jackson. I want to see some Ian Jackson time, man. Oh, oh, oh the heavy was crazy. Oh, that's a good shot. It. That's a good, good. shot. Boom! Oh, that's still a game. Damn, that's still a game. Going. They got to get a trap. Three. They got to get a trap. One oh, trap. Yeah, you got oh. Oh. That's the best lay of the season. The best lay of the season. By far. Chopper. Yeah. And the Cold Horse will look to take on the City Reapers in the next round. It came down to a game three. And somehow, some way, the short-handed Cold Horse fellas won the game. Man, oh man. What a moment. Seven players, they all played. We could have had multiple double doubles. I don't even know. We got to see. Hey, what's even more impressive, I have a nine-game winning streak. I have not been wrong in nine pickups. Our producer, KJ, been hating on me for years, but now it's my time to shine. <laughs> Fellas, what a game, Jeff. Thanks. I can't believe I went against my guy. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs>
Hey, man, sometimes the underdogs come on top. Nobody believed in the cohorts coming in without the McDonald's All-American, without one of, maybe the winner of the next up award in AO, without Samis Calderon. These are starters that play heavy minutes, and they still won. What an amazing game. And right now, our own overtime day is next to the player of the game, Cannon Catchings. They take it away. Thank you, Sniper. I'm here with Cannon Catchings. Big win. You're moving on to the next round. Talk about what you like from your team to advance to the next round. All right, we had injuries, but we just kept fighting. We stayed together. That, was, that meant a lot just to win the game. You brought a different kind of energy tonight, 21 and 15. That's a team high for both. What kind of different focus were you tapped in in this elimination game? So I just didn't want to lose the game. I didn't want JB or Samis to have to go out and not play in their last game because of injuries. So we just played it for them, but obviously for myself and the whole team. We all came together and won the game. Unbelievable team win for the Cold Hearts. A shorthanded Cold Hearts tonight. Hey, I think you need to sign this too, I believe, right there. Let them know. Name and number, name and number. Canning catches is the name, and he also backs up the game. What an amazing performance by the Cold Hearts tonight. They are advancing to play none other than the City Reapers. I cannot wait to the next round of the playoffs. Make sure you tune in. 93-87. Don't go anywhere. Hey, come back, subscribe. It's your boy, Snapper Jones. For I'm Davis. And last but not least, for my guy, Jeff Teague. Make sure y'all tune in March 1st for more OTE basketball. We see you. Peace.